So what's the most that you've ever paid to see a woman in the bath? I usually, you know, not to not to sound too privileged or mm-hmm. pretentious, I usually get that for free. Okay, yeah, that's, and, and you know, sometimes that does fall into your lap for the low, low price of nothing. Uh, but recently we paid, what, was it $18 between the two of us to see an animated woman in the back? I get where this is going now. So I, At first I was like, we, you yeah, shut your mouth. Listen, LA's a crazy city. How you dare never you? Know, never know what you can get into <laughs> in this city. So uh, what we're driving at here is that me and Daniel saw the Demon Slayer movie. Mm-hmm. And if there's one reason to see the Demon Slayer movie, it's a Mitsuri bath scene, baby. No clouds, no trees obscuring everything. Just body and braids. <laughs> worth every of the 18 this, cents we 18 cents in a dollar <laughs> we paid this is such a wild topic to not tell me about beforehand oh, and yeah. then just turn to me and be like your turn yeah your turn to hit that up absolutely so yeah. i actually never tell danny what the cold opening is gonna be yeah. danny never knows uh and that's like half of the fun is like watching him try to like break down what this cold opening means i can never be prepared for it no. which is the best environment to start a podcast absolutely in. Yeah. You want to start a podcast the, le- the least comfortable you can. Yeah. <laughs> that way you set a precedent for like a really good hour and a half of a list. Yeah. I, after we saw it too, mm-hmm. right? So there's this big bath scene. Everyone's kind of talking about it. You're just huge on the interwebs. Huge, 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 right? I like the second I got home, I like typed in Mitsuri age and I was like, whatever response I get is going to determine the next six jokes I make. Absolutely. <laughs> Very legal. Totally good. As long as they're not a part of the, oh, that's actually not true. I was going to say, as long as they're not part of the big three in Nezuko, they're legal, but that's not true, especially when it comes to the Swordsmith Village arc, because Moishiro is very much 14. The rest of them, legal, is, I think. Is I Moishiro think. the missed one? Missed Hashira, yes. He's 14? 14. Became a Hashira at 11? Yes, at 11. He looks like, other than Tengen, who looks like he's 28. Which, like, he, I mean, he has he three wives. Be. He, he has, might he, be. He's definitely in his 20s, at least. He looks the same as all the other ones. As the big three? As everybody. As, like, every character. Like, Rengoku doesn't hit me as, like, 30. Rengoku's not 30. But, I mean, how old's Rengoku? That's a fantastic question, but my I don't thing, think he's 30. My thing with Demon Slayer, even the adult characters look like giant babies. Guess. So, Rengoku's age. You know my guess was 30. It was 30? It's 20. 20? It's not bad. They do yeah. all, but that's, like, kind of the thing about anime. Yeah. It's like, oh, she's 14. She looks 30. I oh, know. she's... 350 years old she looks 12 like the older you get the younger you get the younger you get the older you look demon slayer though specifically so like everyone's got such a big round head yeah everyone looks like an actual like six-year-old i would say the only people who look old are like maybe gyome yeah but that's just because he's seven foot like a literal yeah he's a a mountain of a human being uh sinemi but that's probably just because of the scars Uh uh-huh uh who Who's Oda, the, oh, Odatachi? Oda Katachi? Odakatachi. Chime in. Any, which anytime one is the like. Oda Katachi? Tanjiro's master. Oh, well, the old he's, man. he's an old man. Orokadachi. Orokadachi, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah, he's just an old guy. Well, that's I'm what I'm people saying. Who are like specifically drawn to be old. Got you. And I would say it's that. And then who's Gyotaru. the who's the, I, who? Gyotaru. Uh, the, Gyotaro. Gyotaro? Gyo- Gyotaro is no spicy. Ch- no Loved chance. it. No Loved chance, it. Gyotaro. Uh, Gyotaro. <laughs> no chance. Gyotaro. I like mine better. I like the Gyotaro? Little, yeah, <laughs> big, Gyotaro. Big Gyotaro yeah, guy, personally. The, the Tim Burton little scythe guy. Oh my God, you're right. He is kind of like a Tim Burton character. He looks so much like a Tim Burton Oh my Burton God, character. he kind of looks like Tim Burton, TBH. Yeah. So, no, and I was going to say, who is the Water Hashira? Oh, 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 I know his name. I think he looks old as well, but that's just because like his, de- like his demeanor is like, I hate life. And I was like, that takes years. Not Gioma. No. It's, that's close. Isn't it? Right? I, it's I something think that's like close. that. I completely forget. Gyo. Yeah, it's Gyo something. It's Gyo something. Yeah. Gyotaro. Yeah, Gyotaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. doubled My down on it. My They absolutely yeah. doubled down <laughs> yeah. on it. So we saw the Demon Slayer movie. It's yeah. good. It's very good. Um, well, it's not a movie so much as it is uh, the last two episodes. Three episodes. The last two episodes of three. season two. 10 through 12. That's three. Nar. 
Nar, we saw don't two, you get Australian with Nar, me, son of a bitch. We saw two, how many end credit sequences did well, we see? Well, you literally commented on this. Yeah. You said, I'm happy they didn't add the end credit scene from 11 to 12 because it was more seamless. No, I'm glad they didn't uh, add the intro. They added, we saw three end credits. Which would make three episodes. Oh, you're saying three total. Yes. So but the first episode saw, was 10. We saw, the first episode was 11. Are you sure? Yeah. No, because it's an hour and 50 minutes. It's an hour yeah. and 50 minutes. We only got 45 minutes okay, of the go. Swordsmith Village arc. <laughs> yeah. Which would mean we got an hour of the Entertainment District arc. Just three episodes. I promise you it's the last two. Are the last two episodes one mega episode? Is it I, the same as the first episode of the Swords of the Village arc? We got some amount of the end of season two. At least two. At least two at episodes. At least two episodes. At least two episodes of season two. And then the first mega episode of season three, which is like 45 minutes long. Yes. Uh, so it's not like a movie. I know some people were upset by they, that. They did. It wasn't. They were like, they're like, oh, a new Demon Slayer movie. Yeah. Gotcha, bitch. It was yeah, like they yeah. were very much like it's the recap of the yeah. Thorough fight and the start of the Swordsmith Village arc. No, it, it's not clickbait. They didn't clickbait yeah. anybody. Everyone's like, I expected more. We still got to, 45 minutes of the Swordsmith Village arc. To be fair, when you got people like us going around being like, we saw the Demon Slayer movie. It is. It's an hour and fifty five minutes of Demon Slayer. It's it's yeah. a it's a movie. Yeah. Ish. I suppose so. I suppose legally it's a movie. Yeah. I mean, if it's over ninety minutes, it's a movie. Yeah. No. Re agreed. Regardless Actually, of if it's oh, it's an episode of The Last of Us, but if it's an hour and if it's if it's ninety five minutes, that's a movie. Yeah. And I say the perfectly length movie. Yeah. Because once again, once you hit two hours, that's too much. I've gotten like so comfortable with two hours, like because so many movies now are like two and a half to three. It's too much. It's a so lot. Much, oh, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna sit down for what? A quarter of the day to watch Avatar: The, La the Way of Water? Like, no, I don't need a three-hour movie. You give me a uh, hour and a half action vehicle. Open the story. Oh no, somebody got kidnapped. Go find them. Run uh -huh. into issues. Fifty minutes in. Figure out the issues. Sixty minutes in. Last thirty minutes. Shoot him up. Gun chase. Look, bingo, we... bango, bongo. In and out. Get the girl. Let's go. How many times are you gonna tell people that Michael Bay is your favorite director? I listen. I didn't even. We get it. We didn't know. Even, okay. Here's here's. I guess you said it in not so many words, but you said it. I said it in more words. Yeah. If anything. Yeah. yeah. In That's, more words. Does that count it. as a Michael Bay? Is that for the bingo cards? Mm -hmm. So another thing in the in the storied history of Utaku's Anonymous is that one of our fans, apparently me and Danny are already derivative. We're yeah. already yeah, we like, already we, have tropes. We've literally already been boiled down in what our eighth, ninth yeah. episode. Um, somebody, one of our incredible fans, made a bingo card where I think it was Nick name drops a brand. Oh, um, there's a bunch. Yeah, uh, Nick talks about Danny's size. Uh, there yeah, was a uh, loose Dorothy or Neutron reference. Uh, -huh. uh, boys have a cute moment. Boys have a tense moment. And <laughs> there was a couple other ones. There was Danny touches his own hair. Yeah, that one's fucked. Hold on. Which that I, here's the thing. It's, it's one of those true. <laughs> It's 100% true, but that's, like, one of those things that I, like, didn't notice at all. It like, breaks the glass. Yeah, it absolutely it's broke It's from How glass. I Met Your Mother. Did you ever see How I Met Your Mother? No. Oh, there's, like, a whole episode about breaking the glass when you, like, notice something about somebody for the first time and you can never unnotice it. It was horrible. That's almost as bad as the lisp thing. What's scary to me, though, is I feel is, like, if they've honed in on your tick, I feel like they're going to figure out mine, and I don't even know what my tick is, mm. and I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to know what it is. I don't, because then I'll, every time I'll do it, I'll be like, oh my God, I need to stop. I'm going to figure it out by the end of the, by don't, the end of the podcast. I don't like the way you're looking at me. I'm going to figure it out. I don't like the way you're looking at me at all. So yeah, Swordsmith Village Arc, uh, you get like 20 minutes of the Infinity Castle, which is really cool. You see the the rest of the top five ranked uh, 12 Kizuki, uh, which is sick. It's really, really cool. There's a bunch of like crazy, like, like, I, like the way they chose to the animate Infinity the Castle? Infinity Castle. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, really good. It, Infinity Castle was like the coolest bit of season one, in my opinion, oh, too. Yeah. Like a lot of people love the like decapitation of the spider boy. Infinity Castle's always Rui. been so sick. Yeah, Rui. Yeah. Um, Infinity Castle's so cool because it's like, in my opinion, the best integration of CG into 2D. Yeah. Where it just all, it like all feels natural. It was seamless yeah it's like, really good seamless like the the panning of the camera through all the different planes and i was like i was like wow danny i was like it was one of those moments where i was like danny he said that he turned well, me he said wow, wow danny. Danny, danny and i that, said shut uh, up nick stop talking yeah. you got everyone's looking at us yeah. you're embarrassing me that's why i didn't want to bring you here as we're both the only people in cosplay in, cosplay, in the whole yeah. goddamn theater yeah so i was like after the movie i was like danny 
because like because Danny directs things. Danny, uh, Danny, stop made, being so sincere about Danny it. Danny made a western, Danny. guys. <laughs> Danny made a western. I just do you just make it sound like you held my hand? You're like, wow, Danny, that I, this film, this major motion picture. He's just brushing over the fact we held hands the whole time, uh-huh. but I guess that's that's fine. Well, Everyone with the bingo pre- card, uh, Nick and Danny have a cute moment, and Danny's western. Uh-huh. And Danny, Danny's yeah. Wester. That's three. Tell us when you guys get bingo in the comments. How many minutes in did it take you to get bingo? Uh, anyways, I was like, Danny, the director, like the directorness of this. And he was like, yeah, it was sick. And I was like, I feel like I connected to my friend. <laughs> the director. The director. Yeah, and I said, Nick, are you having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I liked the direction yeah. Yeah. of the movie. <laughs> Is know, that what it's called? When yeah. a director... Yeah, you like the direction. He liked yeah, the direction. You know. Yeah, okay, that's confusing. Whereas we must have like a mayo flavored cookie somewhere I can give you around here. I is that, <laughs> is that, that's how I'm being. That's your Scooby Snacks. Odd snack. Japanese yeah. snacks. Yeah. yeah, from Redacted. They haven't um, sponsored the show yet, but they've sponsored my other pages. So yeah, there, that was a taste of what you could have. Redacted. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We could have a whole snack section. Actually, that would be kind of funny. No, that'd be uh, fun because you do not. Danny doesn't try anything. I don't like anything. Danny's a big boiled chicken guy. <laughs> I'm a big. I'm just a big boiled boy. That's just a big boy. Just, <laughs> yeah. just drop him in hot water and yeah. boy is he happy. I, oh my god! In eighth grade, when I'd show up to class, kids would be like, "Hey, there's boiled Dan showing on up," and they would <laughs> look at this wet and they, also hot bitch. Yeah, they, they'd all bring in boiled chicken breast, and Nick, <laughs> let me tell you, they would beat me for forty minutes. <laughs> the second the bell rang to the second the bell rang again i would miss all the first period boiled chicken (laughs) raining down on me like it's cloudy with a goddamn chance of meatball some people had english or gym not me not me i I had (laughs) i had had chicken yeah i had boiled period 45 (laughs) minutes out of the day so i had real quick brief tangent there was a there was a holiday my friends tried to get going called throw d batteries at danny day <laughs> this is true and they would like, like wake up on june 12th and you're like no <laughs> we had we had, a, we had a teacher who was like very young and very cool but one day like as this rumor was going around and building traction yeah as after class this is a real thing that happened yeah. after class she was like danny wait come here a second and i was like yeah sure she pulled me over to her desk. She opened the desk and it was full of D batteries. And I was like, what? No. I was like, yeah, I was like, Please, Miss Costandon. Not you too. Yeah. I can't. You are my one bastion of safety. She just starts putting them in a sock yeah. and swinging it. <laughs> Come here, bitch. Yeah. Just like gets real close. Yeah. Run. <laughs> like, uh, you I have, have till the bill rings. I have the bingo card up. If you'd like me to read them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please uh, go. So on this bingo card, there's four missing spaces that I'm sure since now have been filled in. What would we fill them in with? I guess let's go through the rest yeah. of them and we'll find out. The other I'm, I'm going to figure out your ticks this I episode. I don't think I have any. I think we'll see. We'll see. I think I, you do. You, there's something with your arms. I haven't pinned down yet. <laughs> I've just put my arms on my armrest. <laughs> that was so mean of this me. Is, this is just... <laughs> <laughs> That's so. <laughs> oh, these here for the rest of that, the. That's just such a mean thing, dude. Be like, there's something about your eyebrows. I'll figure it out oh, later, but just, think about it. It's yeah. the whole package. There's yeah, something like, off. I haven't figured it out yet. Okay. Uh, here are the bingo categories. Yes. This one's my favorite already. The first one's my favorite. Okay. Nick mentions exorbitant spending. God damn it. I forgot I about that, that one. one. It's accurate. That's the equivalent of the of me touching my hair where you're like, fuck, I wish that wasn't true, but. I, I. That's I, it. That's I do what I don't. Everyone, camera viewers. Nick does this a lot. You do like, ah, you like do a little, oh, God damn it. That's, that's it. That I knew it. That's not weird. It's not weird. It's not. It's, it's, it's just a thing you, you do. You know, it's a little. But that's so, let me know. Let me know in little, the comments. It's a little, ah, you know? Yeah. I, everybody on, on <laughs> audio only right now is so yeah. confused. Nick does a little head cock, uh, and a, like. I'm mostly head- dog. You know, I just like when they do the head cocks and try and figure out dog on. I do on me. Yeah, on you. But also, I actually literally am covered in neutrons fur. So cross that one out. Uh, We got Danny roasts Nick, so that's already happened. I feel like that could go both ways. True. I think it's on here. That being said, everybody said last episode you put me in the blender. You were in the blender. You were absolutely in the doghouse. I was. I was. I was getting. I was getting. I was in a pretzel for an hour and a half. Called King K. Rule a Kirby character. Mm -hmm. I had the fucking entire Code Lyoko fandom mm-hmm. bastioning with me. Bastioning. Yeah, second that's, time. That's absolutely, <laughs> that absolutely word. the right English word. Number to three, use there. the boys have a cute moment. Yeah. Number four, Nick mentions Japan. Have you? You haven't been to Japan. Have you been to Japan? 
don't make me do it. That would be five, and I don't know if it's in a line. <laughs> these are in a line. You're yeah. right. If you, well, for these, there's got to be a program where you can like mix them up. Because if everyone has the same bingo card, everyone's winning. Get bingo. a randomizer? Yeah, yeah you like need a, a randomized randomizer. bingo card? Yeah. I love that, yeah. Nick drops a spoiler. <laughs> Haven't done that yet. Not yet. I well, think about that all I, the time. I guess I spoiled the Mitsuri bath scene, but that, that, I feel like that That's barely true. counts. Yeah. Danny doesn't know about an anime. Hasn't happened yet, thank God. Because the only thing we've talked about is the thing we went to go see together. Yeah, yeah let's keep it that way. Okay. Um, Danny was late to something. Well. Boy, was he. <laughs> Danny was. Danny was an hour late today. So. Boy, was he. So, we're, we're heading in the right direction here. Michael Bay. I did that, that one. Was that was you. Yeah, but that it should, it should count because his name was dropped, yeah. Doubling down. Probably. No. I think we're clear on doubling down thus yeah. far. We'll get there yeah. for sure. Uh, Nick name drops some company. We've redacted. We haven't. We, we did haven't, redact. Yeah. We're learning. No yeah. free ads. Uh, free space. Danny name drops Jonah Scott. Haven't, haven't done that yet. Danny's Western film. Underwear. One is just underwear. I And not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we do talk about underwear a lot. Do you ever fondly think on our first and second podcast episode where almost all the comments are, I thought this was going to be about An anime. anime? Not even once. <laughs> not even once. Listen, I, I fondly anime, think about that. That's fun. <laughs> anime starts it. You know, yeah. it's, 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 our, it's our starting line. The finishing line is underwear. Yeah. What we do in the middle, God knows. The, the finishing line is my mom texting me, yep. uh, telling me about old man saggy balls. Do we is have any on updates here? on that from from no. Mama, Mama Mata? We, Ooh, that sounds good. No. Mama no. Mata? Everyone stop. Mama Mata? <laughs> Mama Mata? That's sick. I call my mom Mama Connor. I know you do. Yeah. Mama, Mama Mata, Mata flows. Sounds like Alma Mater. Which is cool. Yeah. It's a little alliteration. Yeah, I guess that's so. not how that's not alliteration, but that's fine. We got an ad that wasn't supposed to be an ad. Haven't done that. Purposely. Thus Purposely, far. Yeah. yeah. We've done good. Nick mentions Danny's size. Which yeah, that's fucked. I'm gonna do less of in the future, because Danny's a big, big boy. Taller than you. Exactly. I'm bigger than you. Big big boy. Uh Danny touches his own hair. Own is in parentheses, which is interesting. You never know. What is that about? I, if you want to feel how good hair plugs feel running through your fingers, then, oh, baby, I got some hair for you. Maybe after. Yeah? <laughs> Maybe after. I'm afraid. I actually don't even let Dorothy run her fingers through my hair anymore. No, because just in case. It I'm afraid it's going to pull them out. I'm like, I don't want to go back. It hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. terrified. <laughs> uh, Neutron or Dorothy mention? Well, I've already, we already got yeah. Neutron out of the way. I'm wearing him right now. The boy. <laughs> <laughs> Take him off. I have his skin. <laughs> um. Do we, that happened. What yeah, was that here, about? Here. It's still recording. <laughs> because you had a bad day. You take one down. That's a lot of, that's a lot of breath on that. Sing a sad song. Just to turn it around. That is an uncomfortable amount of breath. I don't know why we're Mariah Carey right now. I wrote that song. You sound like, uh, what was the blonde woman who died of pills? Jesus Christ. The one, Whitney Houston? The, no, that, was Whitney Houston blonde? I don't know. What the one, the very famous one, and then she she tried to fuck JFK, or maybe did fuck JFK. Oh, uh, uh, Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. You sound like Marilyn Monroe singing to JFK. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Okay, the last few. Mm. Uh, the boys have a tense. God moment. knows how much of that stank actually keeps. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, boiling down Marilyn Monroe's entire life to a, yeah. a, a pill overdose. <laughs> one to of a the pill overdose and a Danny impression. Yeah, listen, you did great. Thanks. I'm a little chubbed up. Happy birthday. Don't look at me like that, I swear to God. Mr. President. Oh, God. All right. I can see why he went for it. Um, that's our tense moment. Uh, I don't Nick, think that was a tender moment, if anything. Sexually tense. Yeah. Nick references tattoos or a statue. Not yet. <laughs> No, yeah, we're good. Yeah. yeah, we're good. And finally, Danny makes obscure cultured reference, like Code Lyoko or Zatch Bell. Yeah, but the thing is with that, there I, I, and your bag might be infinitely deep on the culture. Yeah. On on the, you know, how cultured the references you can make. I feel like I feel like there's a limit to that. I feel like that might be good in the first like 20 or so episodes, uh -huh. but there's only I'm gonna so run out there's of only so nostalgia. many obscure things you did as a child. Try me. I I'm willing to see. I'm going to next very, episode I'm bringing all my Beyblades. I that's not obscure. It's, I guarantee you mm. 6 out of 10 people that watch this had Beyblades at some point. Fine, I'll bring my Bakugan. See, that's more obscure because yeah. Bakugan were stupid. Because it was just like, oh, I'm throwing this ball and it pops. Then what happens? Bakugan, I, I don't know. I think a card game ensues. Once again, we, we never, we no don't know. No one knows. We don't Bakugan's know. cool, though, because it's like all the appeal of Pokemon. 
but you don't need to bring a whole ass stuffed animal around. Like you have this little ball, which is Fair. sick. Yeah. And then the second touch is metal. Like no one knows what your ball is. Was that is. what it was? They were magnetic? It's a magnet. They're magnetic cards. You huh. put a card down and then you got to go bloop. And then that's the sound it makes. It was the, it yeah, the, the very, the, the, yeah, the the very iconic, mechanical sound of bloop. Yeah, the iconic Bakugan noise. Yeah. And then if it hits the card, I think that's part of the skill. If it hits the card, it activates. If you miss, you're fucked. You don't get it. Yeah, you don't get Did it. Did you get, like, every time you bought a card, it came with a thingy? Every time you bought a thingy, it came with a card. I'll have you know. Okay. You were so buying the for the card. I don't know. You could buy, like, a stack of five cards, and it comes with five things. I, th I think maybe you could buy card packs. That makes sense. See, but that's, like, hugely, in, in, in not is the word, what is, inconvenient. Yeah. Hugely inconvenient. Because it's part? like, oh, like, oh, I want to bring my whole deck with me as you walk around with a duffel <laughs> with, full with a of... With a bunch of magnets? Yeah, like, plastic yeah. balls? <laughs> like your teacher with, like, D batteries in a sock. Like, oh, I got 30 of my Bakugan on me. I feel like, I feel like it, there's such potential for, like, a cool carrying case where, like... Just like, I don't know, like a, like a belt loop that no. goes down. Well, that would be well, cool. Like, I would like, <laughs> like, yeah, just like a, like a flute or I, like a, like a. Yeah, like a flute. I don't. Like that a was blow the, dart. That's yeah. that. That's what I was like. The first thing That'd I thought of was, well, the first thing I thought of, you know, when going like I this. I don't know why the first thing I thought of were brass knuckles. Stop doing, you did that for I, so this long. This is how you flute. <laughs> no, it this is. This is how you flute. This is how you flute. Am I thinking clarinet? You're thinking of a dick. What are you <laughs> talking about? I'm pretty sure that's how you clarinet, but that's just me. Clarinet? Oh, clarinet's like... <laughs> Do you have to look down, or is that just what Squidward did? Yeah. I don't think you have to look down for a clarinet. You look down at your fingers. Like, if you, you can look at your fingers like that, I don't... No one clarinet's like this, dog. If you're pride, you have pride about it. If you're like, I'm gonna, like, walk down the street of New Orleans with my clarinet, you absolutely do. I guess if you're doing a dance, like, do, 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 yeah. Yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, exactly you're like that. Yeah, like, like you're, you're just the people who walk down the middle of the road in New Orleans and yeah. block traffic. I guess so. It's a great on their city, clarinet. but it does not run well. <laughs> so that's our cold open, yeah. our 25-minute cold open, I guess. Um, go see the Swordsmith Village arc. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can see Hantengu, you can see Gyoko, you can see Mitsuri. You can see a little bit of Moishiro, not really. Um, it looks incredible. Gyotaro fight versus Tengen is like basically worth the price of admission. Yeah. Like seeing that remastered into movie quality, incredible. Mitsuri bath scene, obviously awesome. Oh, I forgot my brother. I have a complicated family. Uh, brother? I... Not even really. Like, okay. biologically, we're not related. But for a long time, I thought we were biologically related. Right. Very complicated right. family. I live in a telenovela life. Uh, anyways, texted me. He has a child who's, like, 13? Okay. Uh, and he was like, hey, my son has, like, been watching all of Demon Slayer. Uh, how was the movie? Should I take him to go see it? And I was like, absolutely you should if he loves Demon Slayer. Yeah. And then I remembered Mitsuri bath scene. And I was like, oh. That's do fun. Doing if that you with your father isn't. Great. It's not like Tanjiro doesn't get laid or anything. She like gets out of the bath and then it's over. It's not even well, like. Well, and there's a whole scene where like she a, comes down. And he's like, your boobies are going to come out. Oh, like, uh, yeah. And that teaches great morals. It kind of does. Yeah. Tanjiro, if you want. Tanjiro wanted, is the absolute gentleman. Can I can I do our opening here? Like our like our like, hi, we're us. And then I can ask you a question because I have a, a question I want to ask you. Where we're going. I have no idea what you're talking about, like, can, so like, go on. Like, end the cold opening, be like, yeah. hi, we're Otaku's Anonymous, okay, sure. and then ask you a question. Yeah, sure. Hi, we're Otaku's Anonymous. My name is NC Hammer 23 also known as Nick, uh, and I don't own tattoos or statues. Danny. Hi, uh, I'm Danny Mata, also known as D Mata on most social media. Um, I also don't have tattoos or statues. Bingo! Look at that. Evens. Uh -huh. So, question. Yeah. Of all of the MCs you can think of, yeah. which MC would you want your child to look up to the most? To look up to? Yeah, oh, like, I thought you were going to say, like, which one do I want my daughter dating? Because it was Tanjiro right out the gate. That's also, can we do mine first and then we'll do yours? <laughs> sure. That That is not question asking etiquette, I'll have you know. Oh, I'm sorry. What? We have to do yours first? Hey, what's your favorite food? By the way, I'm going to go first just so you know. You're the one who answered <laughs> a question with a question, <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, go on. What's yours? I already said it. Of all of the MCs you can think of, who would you want your child to no, look up I, to the most? Okay, but you wanted to go first, you just said. No, 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 no. Because okay. then you were like, who the would you want them to date? Today? Okay, to yeah. so look up to maybe i think maybe naruto hmm. out of like what the mainstream like general, any any mc any? you can think of maybe okay can i run down why i wouldn't others yeah absolutely like luffy is really cool luffy gives me chills in all of his moments like when he's like throwing his ex tattooed fist up when he's 
like the end of you know when they write the X on their fists uh, during Alabasta, so they all That's know who like they two are. Two years since I was in Sorry. Alabasta. No, I I believe you. Yeah, there, yeah. Well, there's a bit. Do you remember at the end of Choppers, like meeting Choppers segment, yeah. and Luffy holds up the flag and he's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. "Pirates won't die, bitch." Exactly. Like shit like that is great. That gives oh, me chills. Shakes. And it's very oh, no. ace. What are you whispering? I'm sorry. Continue. What are you spoiling under your Nothing. breath? Don't worry about it. A um, lot of great moments like that, that I'm like, fuck, like that is like the true meaning of like bravery. Yeah. However, Luffy's also like an idiot and doesn't have the other morals. And it's like also like kind of a criminal. Like, like he's such a criminal murderer and psychopath. I definitely kills shut up i yeah he's never <laughs> like, you know he's never had a moment where he's like straight through somebody's yeah. chest if he doesn't kill i know oda has said he doesn't kill yeah whatever that liar tells you yeah <laughs> even, yeah historically untrustworthy person yeah. eshiro oda even if he doesn't kill it's not for a lack of trying yeah like he is so accidentally not killing people yeah. i've had this argument a lot where i'm like Superman bent an I beam around somebody, they're dead. Like they're that's a five thousand yeah. pound piece of steel. Yeah. Like you're dead. If you get thrown through a building, yeah. done. He okay, listen, the only reason you didn't die is your durability. That's yeah. not Luffy not trying to kill yeah, you. Yeah. Like, like the only reason you're not dead is because you're strong. He's yeah. trying to kill yeah, you. Yeah, he's super trying. You can't throw a cannonball back at somebody and yeah. expect them to live. And the fact that they lived is not up to Luffy. Yeah, yeah. It's up to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, like same reason Goku I don't want anyone looking up to because he's just like too dumb also just terrible father bad father so which would father. make you kind of a bad grandfather for like raising him to be a bad father I think I think Naruto I respect so much because he goes from like like being this orphan nobody likes no one even wants to talk to mm -hmm. and just like keeping up this like positive attitude and like being like, fuck it, I'm gonna be Hokage. I don't care what anybody tells me. Yeah. And then through like sheer brute force gets everybody on his side. Yeah. He just has the best like come up, in my opinion. And even though he is like dumb as a brick, like all the others, he like Yeah, he is dumb. He like thinks his way through stuff, like beating uh Neji in the tuning exams, way like burying a shadow yeah, clone, all of that. Yeah, yeah burying yeah. a shadow clone, that's hype. I hate that he farts in Kiba's face, but whatever, it works. Gets the job done. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Wear underwear. Not even once. Can't do it. But, but yeah, so like Naruto just kind of like checks my boxes of like his journey. I I can see like putting my kid in front of that and being like, this kid's going to teach you to persevere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because his whole story is overcoming. Like Naruto's yeah. entire story is persev like like perseverance, like overcoming like finding like a middle ground with those that you should hate right ending the cycle of hatred like he is a really right. good really good role model and his connection with sasuke it's like even though like he don't sees, give up on those yeah, don't give like, up on yeah. people who have like gone astray like, yeah exactly a lot of great morals to find in naruto no you're definitely right i would say it would be a toss-up between luffy right because luffy to me is the symbol of living the life you want to live regardless of what the people around you tell you you should live right uh and also having an incredible moral compass like he is an idiot like he yeah. absolutely is but a lovable idiot and yeah. like i think Nobody makes it further in this life than lovable idiots. Yeah. Uh, so I think Luffy's a really good one for me just because of like, and also the fact that Luffy more than Naruto, like Naruto does stand up to evil, but Luffy's trying to break down an entire like- Like the government. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. like, like identifying that like there's problems with the greater idea of government and right. trying to like dismantle it. Right. So like, I think I respect that about Luffy. It would be him or Tanjiro because Tanjiro, simple. Yeah. Just be nice, like just be nice. Defend your family, defeat evil. Yeah, like it's just so. So it's just like Tanjiro is a very much a representation of like Demon Slayer as a whole because people like the thing about Demon Slayer is everyone's like it's a really simple story. There's no plot, but like simple or no plot doesn't mean it's not good plot. Who's saying this? A lot of people. Give me their address. A lot of people are like, so I just oh. want to talk to them. People are like, oh, there's just it, there's no plot, and uh -huh. it's like there doesn't need to be. Like, it's just, like, a well-told story, even if you've heard it before, is still a great story. Yeah. Like, as long as it's told well, the characters are awesome, like, that's what's great about Demon yeah. Slayer. Okay, now, who would you want your child to date? Yeah. Not I said Tanjiro. Mine's Tanjiro. What's you? 
Tondro is a great answer. Because here's the thing. Respectful. Here's the thing. Yep. Tondro. He'll have her home on time. Tondro is similar to a Deku, but without like the baby bitch boy quality. Absolutely. Yep. Ex- like Tondro is more like indie soft boy, respectful, but he's like got it in check. Like Deku is too like too much of this, you know, yeah. he's too like freaking Just out. Just too awkward. Yeah. Yeah. You want a little bit of a little bit of chat in there. Yeah. Just a just a smidge he, chat. He's definitely got a bit of chat. That he's being you. said, Deku yeah. also, so they're currently in like the Deku vigilante arc right, right now. I'm like, Deku's got a little bit of chat in himself. I don't see this is a good question. I think honestly, I think honestly, I would go the other way and say probably Naruto. Interesting. Yeah. Cause like powerful, like leader, uh-huh. um, like just like good guy. That being said, not a great dad. Not a, na- now I'm looking at it. Now I'm looking at it. Not, not a, great a great dad. Also, Naruto's like going to be so insensitive. Like Naruto's going to hurt your daughter. That's you fair. kidding me? He's going to say something dumb. I just didn't want to take your answer, but like Tanjiro is- But I'm right. Like is the right yeah. answer. Like Tanjiro is absolutely the right answer. It's him. I don't know. Maybe Asta. What, what's like- I mean, Asta's also a goddamn idiot, but like he's a good guy. He's also insensitive. Yeah, That's he does the it. thing. Noel is like openly admitted to being in yeah. love with him. And he's like, just has no idea. What about non MC? Non MC to date your daughter. Yeah. I'm going like Rock Lee. That guy needs oh, a win. Oh, a great there, choice. There's no reason that's no one's dating that guy. That's a great fucking choice. Yeah. I can't even. That's it. I'm right. You're yeah, two okay. for two. That's yeah. it right there. Rock Lee. He yeah. should have. Rock Lee is who should have ended up with Sakura. A hundred percent. Like was nice to her. In love with her. Their children would have been stronger. than Like Sarada obviously having the Sharingan. Who, who does he end up with? Rock Lee. Oh boy. 10 10. Sort of. Not really. So sort of. Rock Lee has a child. Yeah. Which is right. Metal Lee. Yeah. But Bad Metal name. Lee doesn't know. Awful name. Yeah. Then again, Rock Lee, not a great yeah. name. Um, but Metal Lee doesn't know who his father or her who his mother is. Mm-hmm. And like people have like put Metal Lee next to 10 10. Metal Lee has 10 10's eyes, like everything. So everyone thinks one night, Rock Lee, because he has like a horribly low alcohol tolerance. Oh my god. Got a little sake accidentally. What is gave this? Gave 10 10 his little drunken fist, if you know what I'm talking about. What is this so, incredibly dark thing? And then nine months later, you know, 10 yeah. 10, obviously she's not on camera a lot, so she could have a child in nine yeah. months and nobody would see her. Uh dropped off Metal Lee yeah. in front of Rock Lee's door, and he was like wow. too dumb. He was just like, damn, baby. Wow. And they trained that baby. So dark. Yeah, but like that's yeah. the thing is like Metal Lee just spawned. Yeah. There's also a theory that Rock Lee moved so fast that a little bit of him just like split off and became Rock Lee. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. he mitosis his kid. Exactly. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Like, he literally just moved so quick, just mitosis and Whoa, then Metal Lee. Okay. So he doesn't really end up with anyone. He's a single father. And Ten Ten's like a single mother. Right. So it's like people have made the connection. Wow. But he deserved better. Yeah, absolutely. He deserved way better. 100%. Should we get to other anime news? Sure. So the Crunchyroll Awards came out. Okay. Do you know who won yeah. Anime of the Year? Yeah. Uh, Cyberpunk. Which is way out of left field. Wild. Yeah. Honestly. That's crazy. Yeah. Good for Cyberpunk. I mean, I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I am surprised. Yeah. I'm surprised. I'm glad Attack on Titan didn't get it because that's been like the like flower child of these awards. It, it just wins everything. And I don't everything. think it earns it. I don't think it earns of the year. No. And it was barely anything of, I guess... No, part two of the final season came yeah. out. Yeah, last year. So I don't. Uh, I didn't see ranking of kings part two. That wouldn't have got anime of the year. I don't think it was nominated. Was it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, Cyberpunk wins. Yeah. And the nominees were Demon Slayer, Entertainment District Arc, Cyberpunk, Attack on Season Final Season Part Two. Yeah. Um, uh, Lycoris Recoil, which we still need to watch. Right. Uh, ranking of Kings mm-hmm. Season Two and Spy Family. Right. Who did we think was going to win? This was like our second episode. I honestly do not remember who we thought was going to win. I predicted Ranking of Kings, maybe. Which would have been nice because Ranking of Kings, I think, won anime of the year last year. Uh, Like 2021. I think season one won, if I'm not mistaken. I would have loved Demon Slayer to win. And I disagree with anybody who says that there's no story. But I had... But <laughs> I'm not. No, no, no. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. First off, sir. I, I, I had like a whole conversation with um one of our friends who I won't name for no reason. But um, why? With, with Daniel. <laughs> yes. About how Dan on Dan action never hurt nobody. Yeah, a little D on D, if you will. A little D N D. Yeah. Boom. Oh, that's that. it. That's just that's how a joke's made. Everybody. That's how. You listen, saw it live. <laughs> you saw it podcast live right, right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, <laughs> take notes. Um, but he was talking about how he didn't like the entertainment district arc. Because it was just like a fight. 
It's just like an eight episode fight and no story. And I was like, very respectfully, um, how get fucked. Nerd. No, I'm kidding. Damn, De- no. Great guy. Look, Demon Slayer doesn't have like a one piece ass, like grand scale, like world exploring it's not story. Sit here and act like any anime ever has yeah. had a one piece story. But yeah, yeah, it's not like a galaxy spanning story. But Demon Slayer excels at telling a story like through fights. Yeah. So it's like the Entertainment District arc is like the best example. Probably not. I don't know. But the best example I can think of of just like raw momentum where like they're fighting Daki and like that's insurmountable. And then Nezuko gets into her form and she like bashes Daki into oblivion. Putting her down. And then like that threat is kind of finished. But now like Nezuko's going nuts. So Tanjiro has to like rein her in Mm -hmm. and you get that emotional impact. And then the twist that Daki isn't one demon, but like her and her brother are connected. And there's giving that. an eye to him and putting his forehead. Oh, it's all insane. But it's just like great momentum and great little like character personal bits all throughout the fight. Yeah. Rather than just like, you know, prolonged uh, exposition yeah. about the, the building of the world. And Garnt, aka Gigic, did a really good uh, piece about this actually where. He says, in the manga of Demon Slayer, there's a whole point where they explain how sound breathing works. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're like, as Tengen fights, he learns the rhythm of his opponent and he makes the musical score. And to make sure that they didn't like slow down the pacing of the Entertainment District arc at all, what they did was just show you it. Yeah. So like when Tengen, which, and this happens in the story, this happens in like the Demon Slayer movie, uh, when Tengen gets his musical store against Gyoto after losing his hand, he like like he shows it. Like yeah. he shows it and Gyoto's like, Did you figure out my my fighting stance and like use that to build your musical score? So like they show you how the powers work without telling you. Which right. is like I guess the big difference between things like Demon Slayer and One Piece and Naruto. Yeah. No, for yeah, Naruto is pretty like known for like chakra diagrams and yeah. like little lessons and stuff yeah they're but just yeah. like oh this is how keki genkai and keki toto work yeah. and all those kinds of things and it's like this is how the rasengan is made and the chidori is made so it's definitely it's like, it's, shut up it's magic yeah like, it's literally yeah. that's it like why are we making it so complicated yeah. but like some people really like that because yeah. like jjk people love jjk because of how complicated it is and like right. like hunter hunter because how how complicated it is like every power has a succinct explanation that you can like drive to with enough knowledge yeah but like you do need like a college level understanding of the power like to understand why gone is more powerful in his adult form and like right. why the barrier is stronger against gojo in the like when they come attack the school like things like that like when there's like risk involved and all of that so like there there's complicated power systems people love that but like you gotta love demon slayer for what it is yeah so if i was gonna say anything should have won i think i i think i voted for demon slayer for anime of the year if i'm not mistaken yeah i think demon slayer like had a good shot for sure and again i'm not upset that cyberpunk won because cyberpunk was very good yeah um but yeah pretty Uh, pretty good and so best character ironically though i voted for cyberpunk for best character design demon slayer won which like I get it, Gyotaro, Daki, Tengen, all cool looking. I uh, yeah, I guess so. I having just rewatched it. Yeah, I am more like you're more I'm, partial to yeah, it. Yeah. Well, so I'm like now that I'm like oh yeah, like those designs were crazy. Like, and I don't know. I think like yeah, I don't. It's so weird. It's so strange to like give an anime award like an anime based off of a manga awards for, for character, character design, design. Yeah. because it's like oh how how tough was that like, you guys really struggled with this one yeah, unless you, they weren't just copying and pasting yeah, yeah like you nailed it guys and i get that like there's some tweaks with like the like line depth and stuff like that or line thickness but like yeah when you've got something like cyberpunk that came from like still source material but not like literal character designs that already yeah. exist give that the win maybe yeah you know? right like, like that's that like seems... they actually had to think of these characters they or, had to design yeah. or like ranking of kings like not based off a of manga or anything like is that is it really not i don't know i'm making things up okay i was I gonna say know. i was i think it's not though i'm I, pretty sure i'm pretty never... sure because it wasn't put up for best original anime i don't which, know let me look it up real quick uh lycoris recoil uh recoil one in the end right. uh best animation was demon slayer are we surprised perfect yeah, yeah. that makes sense uh, best new anime series was Spy Family. Oh, Ringing of Kings is so a manga. 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. I figured. Yeah, I figured it was interesting. Yeah, but you know that's fine. Yeah, you put your heart out there. That's what matters. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You know, what? I did sometimes it with confidence. You, sometimes you got to throw up a shot. You brick. Yeah. You brick. That's just yeah. what happens. You know what's interesting? Best new anime series was Spy Family. Mm-hmm. Opposed to. As opposed to, but Cyberpunk Edge Runners oh, is on that <laughs> list. <laughs> that's funny. So like. Yeah, that's where, interesting. Where is it, just, is it just because Spy Family wasn't put in best anime? Oh, it was. Spy Family yeah. was also up for contention for best that's anime. So weird. So what are we? That, that's almost like at the Oscars. Well, actually, well, the Crunchyroll Awards though are fan voted. Yeah. So that kind of makes sense then. Oh yeah. I guess because I was gonna say that'd be like if at the Oscars of film one best international film or no a film one best, best picture film? yeah but didn't win, win best, best international, international or best like animated, animated or something yeah exactly yeah. um but yeah so it does make sense because it's a fan, fan pool yeah they're all idiots yeah oh, all of God them each, every, every single one, of, one you. of them i should have let you burn when i had the chance that was that was wow i felt that thank you that was crazy yeah did you go to did you go to film school yeah you know or i just watched a lot of game of thrones that's all that's one yeah. That's another one of our free squares. Danny's film degree. That's not Danny's film degree. It's Nick Cole's Danny out for the film degree he never mentions. I what? It, <laughs> I, I feel like it's 50-50. I, <sighs> you look good when you do it, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you do. You should you should pick it up. Uh, guess what won Best Continuing Anime Series? Um, One Piece? <laughs> no, you got it. Yeah. You nailed it. Yeah. Very easy. Best Anime Opening Sequence? Um... I don't know. Uh, Spy Family. No, good That's choice. Good Wait, Definitely uh, good choice. Yeah. But actually, Spy Family wasn't even... Oh, it was. Yeah, Mixed Nuts. No, Rumbling. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah, obviously. That uh, best, Rumbling! Actually, who gives a shit about all of these? Best Anime Film? Um. Oh, I know that one. Jujutsu Kaisen. Which makes sense. That makes sense. Of course it Nobody was saw be. Bubble, and it's also probably Bubble not wasn't even good. on here. Yeah, it is. It, nominated. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was it the Deer King, Film Red, Inno, Superhero, Bell, and Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Hold on. I, I Listen. There's no way. Because I, I remember. I remember talking we, about Bubble. If we go back, I'm I swear you. to God, I was like, I can't believe Bubble's on here and Bell isn't. You think they made like a late game switch? I don't. You think they what swapped the, the babies at the hospital? Maybe. Oh my god! It's I gotta code go pink. back to that pod. I gotta see. Anyway, uh, yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen oh. makes sense. Nobody saw Bell or Bubbles. Guess so that who makes won sense. best anime main character? Who? Uh, Aaron. Oh, fuck. What That's the why. Fuck? That's why. I know Aaron needs to stop winning. He's, he doesn't deserve. He's it. historically worse than any war criminal in history. But even regardless of that, like. He's, like, not in the show. No! He's, like, never in it. He does nothing but, like, mope. He... Boji was right there! Yeah. No, I hate... That's what I mean. That's why I was surprised Attack on Titan didn't win Best of the Year, because it's such a fucking, like, easy pick for people for some reason. It's just so many angst lords being like, oh, Aaron's... Aaron's I, I would have done the same thing in Aaron's shoes. I also would have killed 1.6 billion to save my... No, you wouldn't. He, Shut up. He's like not in the show. He's not very interesting. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I posted like somebody asked me one piece or attack on Titan on mm -hmm. my Instagram. And I was like one piece and it's not even close. Yeah. And that was controversial, which no, was wild. It's arguably not. Well, how long is attack on Titan? Well, I guess now it's a million episodes, but like that's always interesting that you go for length. Absolutely. You're always like, you're always like, Big well, this, guy, personally. I know, apparently. Yeah. I, I'm all in it for the you're, girth. The girth? It's yeah. the girth. About it the motion in the ocean, too, it doesn't obviously. Ma it's like One Piece. I mean, it's like uh, Naruto yeah. has a trillion episodes, but most of them are filler. There's no girth. Yeah, it's like 400 or so or can. Yeah, um, length doesn't matter. I, That'd be like Boruto's better than Demon Slayer because it's got more episodes. Stop it. I mean... <laughs> I'm just, no, obviously not. Obviously the quality of the episodes matter. But I'm saying the fact that One Piece is able to build incredible arcs throughout that, like, amount of length right. is what's impressive. Right. And, like, Naruto being able to have incredible, like, numerous incredible arcs stacked on top of each other is obviously going to put you in a higher level of right. respect for me. It's the number of great arcs, not yeah. just the number of episodes. Because, like, I, actually, Gintama is a bad example. But, like, Gintama is almost 300 episodes... And a lot of them are filler. Uh, I guess, but like, like the, people don't like like get into Gintama because it's almost 300 episodes, and they're like, oh, it's only like 150 canon episodes, stuff like right. that. Um, so Aaron, he didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it. Boji deserved it. Um, I would have given it to Lloyd over him. Uh, I wouldn't have given it to David. I hated David. 
Wow. I like Dave. Annoying. From Cyberpunk. Literally just could have, like, stopped. Well, it's, you know, it's a tragedy. It's like a Breaking Bad. I could have just stopped. Well, you like, know. I'm, I'm not sitting here saying I love Walt. Walt. Er. Walter. <laughs> Yeah. Walter White, that was yeah. his name. Yeah, I don't like love him. Like a regular human man name. No, he could have just stopped <laughs> cooking meth. The yeah. man had billions of dollars already. What is this? What is this line of questioning what? here? What do you mean? He could have just stopped. Yeah, but that's like the point. It's like a story about greed. Yeah, stop being greedy. I suppose. We've I been suppose telling the story of greed greedy. since Icarus. That's like... Just stop flying. Don't get so close <laughs> to the sun. Walk away. You have no show then. I, I'm not listen. I'm not talking about the show. I'm just uh, talking about the people. But that's the show. the show. Yeah, I don't care. If, if, <laughs> wow. If, if Breaking Bad ended with somebody sitting down with Walter and being like, "We have enough money," and he was like, "You're right." Boom. <laughs> Directed by Ben Skill again. Absolutely. I would have. Wow. I, I would have. Wow. Wow. I'm like, he made the right choice. Interesting. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Give me a happy ending. I hate sad endings. Wow. I just get sad. I like, well, that, okay. I don't like getting sad. I just don't. I like, I like tragedies. I'm like such an edgy boy. Spoilers for cyberpunk uh, edge runners real quick. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I guess I'm so. I'm just, I get like, I wanted David and Lucy to live on the moon together. Yeah. And meanwhile, she's bouncing around on the moon by herself because David couldn't stop fucking injecting himself with metal. He literally watched Maine die from it. And then he took Maine's body. It's just, I don't like, I don't have, I don't. And then, and then, and then, and then. Fucking the and lolly then, dies, and it's all because of David, and it's just stupid. The whole thing's stupid. You want to see something cool real quick? Yeah, go ahead. You want to see? It? This is gonna be sick. This is gonna blow your mind. Uh -huh. Ready? Okay. Spoilers for Cyberpunk uh, Edge Runners, real quick. Oh come on! <laughs> Wasn't that wild? What I just did? It's one anime <laughs> of the year. You've seen it. Also, Stank puts everything into little chunks, and it says spoilers next uh -huh. to it. So by the time you get to this, you'd be like, oh, we're talking about Cyberpunk. Going to say spoilers. <laughs> No, okay. It won the anime of the year. Go watch it. Come on. What are you waiting on me for? Very good. Good dub, too. Did he win best dub? Mmm. Because that was your pick. And Great. also mine. Must protect at all costs. Uh, Anya? Yes. Good. Uh, wait, no. Yeah. Anya. Could have been Boji, once again. Or yeah. Kage. Uh, best action anime. Demon Slayer. Best comedy anime. Good. Spy Family. Best drama anime. Attack on Titan. Best fantasy anime. Oh, God, there's so drama many. Demon anime. Slayer. Call Attack on Titan a drama anime. Yeah, which is wild. Uh, best voice acting performance Japanese was Aaron. Tanjiro? No, Aaron. Aaron. Not in the show. Also, like, doesn't have any, like, crazy moments. Yeah. Like, he's like, Tatakai. Insane. And it's like, cool. All right. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm, 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 Tanjiro, Tanjiro swept that. Obviously, like, incredible voice actor. Like, yeah. we're not, like, saying that the voice actor isn't incredible at what they do. They are. I, would give I them, am. No, I am. Not. I'm not saying. Uh, yeah, he's, like, hard. Yeah. Not a big fan yeah. of... Yuki Kaji, hate him personally. <laughs> we'll send this directly to him. Yeah, I'll cut it up. Yuki, get, get your email ready, Yuki. Yuki, ever land in LA? I swear to God, it's um, on site. It is on site. Uh, best in English was Zach Aguilar. Nice. He yeah, did. deserved it. Yeah, yeah, he did a very good oh, job. Yeah. And that was Crunchyroll Awards. Um, stop voting for Attack on Titan for things. I mean, it's good anime, but like, stop voting for Aaron. I w I wouldn't mind if it won Anime of the Year. Yeah, but stop voting for Aaron. He's I not the good mind. guy. I also, mind. you're not you're not edgy for liking Aaron. You're not. Listen, oh, I would, oh, he's a sigma male. I will choke you to death. Those will be your <laughs> last words. Christ, I just I'm so annoyed with people. That, oh, he's doing the right thing. No, he's not. <laughs> Genocide is never the right answer. All right, the, the whole story is about Mikasa and Armin and Annie and Reiner, people who have historically had to make very tough decisions, rallying against somebody going through an even worse thing. Attack on Titan is so interesting in the regard that its story is so convoluted like mm. i went into season four like way after all the like controversy and like after the like you know the world war ii like parallel very discussion much had yeah happened. just like having jews I, in yeah. ghettos i was like way way behind so when i got to season four i'd already heard about all that and i was like yeah. all right i'm gonna like settle in and i'm gonna like look at this with a critical eye and like keep up and see if it's anti-semitic or like if it's a good commentary on the situation mm -hmm. and it's so goddamn convoluted yeah. that by the end i'm like it's so like it's so blatantly a world war ii like parallel but couldn't be the, more like, wearing armbands simply couldn't be more yeah but like by the end i'm so just like hanging off the like the bumper of the bus yeah that i'm like 
I don't, I don't even fucking know what statement is being made anymore. Don't, like, exactly. That's the, it, you really do lose like the, what are we going for here thing? Yeah. Because like, which is not a good thing. Like, like, yeah. Cause people are like, cause people have legitimate, like, questions like is this morally the correct thing yeah. to do in the situation because the author had no way like no which way that he yeah. wanted to go with writing the story it's just not like it's not even it being ambiguous it's it just being like such a fucking mess of themes yeah. and parallels and it's so weird with like bloodlines and like Oh, oh my god! And like drawing it back to like, oh, the Eldians actually murdered six billion people before. I know it's so complicated. And it's like are, now, okay, you've drawn direct parallel to yeah. Jewish people with Eldians, and now you're saying they were actually demons yeah. and that it was right to persecute them. But you're also saying that Aaron should fight against the persecution. It's like, where are you going? It's so weird. Where are you going yeah. with the story and the plot line? So like, you can enjoy it absolutely. But Aaron's not making the right choice. And there's a reason that, like, it's we're now more focused on Armin and Mikasa and Annie and Reiner. Yeah. Like, they are the true MCs of the story now. And they're trying to rally against Aaron, who's, I guess, confused by the convoluted plot line. Because yeah. it's all over that, the map. Th that's, like, what it comes off as, too. That's why I can't, like, get attached to Aaron. Because he spends most of the show, like kidnapped, like gagged yeah. or something. And I get, like, I like the progression of turning a shonen protagonist into the villain. I that, love that. That's love very that. sick. And I also like do buy the fact that that's happened with him because like he is just, it's always just like, Aaron, we need you to move this boulder. Mm -hmm. Like he's just being used by everyone. Absolutely. So yeah. I do get it. But for me, he almost just doesn't have enough screen time that like, I'm like, I feel like most of the progression happens off screen. Like he gets kidnapped and gagged and whatever in season three. Becomes then, a whole whole war criminal for like like for Paradise Island off yeah, screen. Yeah. Then then when they pick him up, he's like, I'm I'm the I'm the fucking bad boy now. Yeah, I am a man like, bun now. Yeah. I'm like I'm like I buy it. Like yeah. I probably would too. But it's it like I'm not engaged in you. Yeah, like as exactly. a result. Yeah. Like I we're focusing on everybody else. Like Sasha Levi become more yeah. compelling characters. Hanji becomes a more compelling character. Yeah. Like. So I think that's in narratively, I understand that shift because like as Aaron becomes the bad guy, you should separate him from like feelings of attachment. I feel like would be a good idea. Like it's like, okay, like as we shift him towards being a bad guy, we should make sure people understand that the side now against him is the correct side. And we like narratively are going to do that by like sifting him out. But that's also not the best. Like we could have a like a tighter focus on Aaron and, like, have a better understanding of his motivations. Yeah, I mean, you can, like, there can be a discussion of, like, whether or not he's right. Like, I don't think you need to, like, fully detach him from anything they just have. And I think it's worked to their detriment. Ye yes. Yeah. That one. Okay, okay. that one. Yeah. So, I want to talk about some things that I do love from this week, though. Okay. Borto. Right. Is Looking this, great. Is this news or is this not? There's news. Okay. But I'm going to do that in our flashback episode. Right, right. Absolutely massive news, mind okay. you. It, it's actually what the title of the podcast is going to be. People are going to be pissed. Wow. Because it's deep. Oh, shit. Because <laughs> oh, we're going to do it in flashback episode, which is like the last thing right. we do. But it's very big news. Interesting. Um, Real quick. Boruto. So yeah, Boruto looks really good. So we're now currently in like a, sh like a canon arc in Boruto, which is rare. Like in anime? Like, yeah. Gotcha. Like, exceedingly rare. Right. Like, we're, like, closing in on, like, 75 canon episodes and roughly 300 uh, full episodes of Borto, which is, you know, how you want your anime to be. Right. Uh, and the animation looks good. Yeah. Uh, the code arc pacing is great. Yeah. I think we're going to ride this code arc all the way out. Like, the way it's currently looking right now, I think this anime arc is going to carry us all the way to the time skip. Right. Uh, because the time skip is two chapters away. So we're at chapter 78 right now, but it's only monthly. So we have two months until the time skip in the manga. Uh, and I think by the time that comes out, Borto will have caught up with the manga. And it'll basically be like, as the manga comes out, the anime comes out and it'll hit, like basically the manga and the anime will hit the time skip simultaneously. Right. Which is going to be crazy. Um, and then once we get the time skip after chapter 80, we're probably going to get like a Borto Shippuden type beat. 
the where dope. like but it's gonna be two out we're gonna get two years off probably okay because naruto to naruto shippuden was two years off right so and like that's gonna give kishimoto time because like they're like the anime and the manga. needs it yeah exactly yeah. the anime and the manga are gonna get so goddamn close by the time the time skip comes around that he's gonna need a couple of years to catch up right like just like get out ahead so he doesn't have to do boruto 300 episodes again yeah and even then they'll probably catch up again because the manga will still be monthly and the anime will probably still be weekly insane if boruto shippuden does end up being seasonal that'd be fantastic yeah but i've made the realization that boruto is seasonal i just uh, only I, I only watch it when it's canon right right and yeah I so think, might as well be seasonal yeah, exactly. yeah it's like every year and a half it's like, oh, hey, Boruto's back to canon. You're like, yeah. hell yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. And I just skipped from episode 215 to 290. And Interesting. We're in there. Yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. The only thing is Bleach seasonal now. I believe yes. it is. Thousand Year Blood Walk is seasonal, I which know, makes no sense. I know there's no reason for me to believe this, mm -hmm. but I'm hoping that Naruto sees that and sees that it's successful. If it is, hopefully it is. You want to know what's wild? What? Boruto? Yeah. Bleach? Yeah. Made by the same people then they should know. Yeah. <laughs> like, Both made by Studio Peria. Hopefully Boruto Shippuden or whatever they yeah. call it is, is uh, seasonal. Yeah. I'll take 20, yeah. 24, 12 episodes and then wait a year. It's what we do now anyways. Oh, that's crazy. That's Peria. They also made The Legend of Korra. Yes. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. So they, what's, what's weird about Bleach being seasonal though is that the manga's done. Yeah. The manga's been done for years. I mean, the ending's not great, but the manga's been done for years. Well, but seasonal's just better. Like, gives the animators more time. It yep. allows the animation to look better. I think that's why Bleach is seasonal, because the animation is dumb. Yeah. It's, like, dumb good. Yeah. Like, like I can see how it took them years to make 12 episodes. Right. Because it's incredible. And the same with Demon Slayer. That's why the quality is so incredible. It's because we have a year, a year and a half between every season. And that way, like, content creators like you and me don't have to worry about burning through content like black clover don't you ever compare me to you i guess you have infinite things to react to in your <laughs> in your all your all knowledge but like black clover did 170 weeks straight of canon content so like the first 100 episodes or so the animation isn't great but they burnt through it yeah so like i missed my entire window to talk about black clover until it comes back right because like like yes i can make videos about black clover and they do well yeah but like you're not riding that height. Exactly. So, like, we recently posted a video about Attack on Titan. I didn't even think it was a good video. Did incredible, because everyone was just yeah. Attack on Titan, just Googling it away. Right. So, like, my my stuff gets pushed out. So, like, for con from a content creator standpoint, having that, like, couple of years to talk about your show, because we have a year and a half between and can still talk about it in the lulls, it's exactly what I want. Yeah. No, for sure. I'm. We are about to approach an Avatar The Last Airbender renaissance, and I am gearing up. Do I we? am readying my troops. Yeah. I am battening down my hatches. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Do we have a date on that? Um. Yeah, 2024 is when it begins. So 2024, we get a movie. Five, we get a movie. Six, we get a movie. Like a movie was, each year. I thought it was a show. We're also getting a show. Jesus Christ. So we're getting... Danny I'm, is going to be a changed man. There's going to... Nobody come to my channel anymore for non-Avatar content. If you're content. not there for Avatar, yeah. get out. Get Danny, the hell out. Danny's getting his gold plaque before yeah. me riding that wave. I am so hyped you to know, become an Avatar of channel. Now that we're talking about Avatar, yeah. you should get Toph on the show. Stop it. You should get Toph <laughs> on the show. Guys, if you think Danny should get Toph on the show... It's a slow, it's a slow process. You know, I'm like Just throwing notes at the back of her head in class and mm -hmm. then I'm hiding away. I'm signing notes from a different person. Yeah. Sabotaging myself. You're sending texts yeah. and if she's like, get receives in the wrong way, yeah. you're like, oh, my, my friend, friend that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, but, uh, yeah. I, so we've got like Avatar movies and then a post Korra show coming out. Yeah. With the, with an earthbender. Earthbender. Yeah. 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 Cause yeah. that's a cycle dog. I know it's a cycle. Uh, Roku, Aang, Korra, this guy. This kid. Yeah. So that's super exciting. And also Avatar, judging by the books and judging by this tabletop RPG that I'll be talking about soon on my YouTube channel. Wow. Yeah, Danny look at that. Bingo ad. card. Um, look at you. Yeah. You name dropped a business. I know. Doesn't even me. It's relevant at least. Should we switch seats? Well, you know, we'll you feel my, it out. Do you want my tattoos? <laughs> Don't stop beating me to my one. <laughs> That'd be, what a power play to be like, here. <laughs> <laughs> Just rip it off. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I'll get a new one. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, but uh, judging from like the books and this RPG and stuff, Avatar's tone is definitely switching or not switching or even shifting, but like maintaining a maturity, which is so exciting. Like Korra came out and it was like wicked mature. And I think the general reception of that was good. 
Mm-hmm. It's just the plot of Korra people didn't love. Um, Fair. But, like, people love yeah. that it, like, that people are dying on screen and yeah. that, like, the themes are mature. Like, people love that. And it seems like I'm very glad that they aren't backpedaling from that. Yeah. Um. So, that's super exciting. Like, when the combustion bender, like, got the metal bent yeah, around her head. and just blew her <clears throat> fucking skull open. Yeah. Such a sick scene. Really like, to this good. day, one of my favorite scenes in anime. Because yeah. it was like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you can metal bend, just even just throw a rock in front of that head. Yeah. Just, Really, really hype. Yeah, it was like uh, the Sonic Boom dude in WandaVision. Or not WandaVision. <laughs> what are you talking about? Multiverse of Madness. Oh, yeah, yeah. She was like, what mouth? And he blew the back of his own brain out. Yeah. Um. Fuck. I, oh, Black Bolt. That's the one. Yeah. Not Black-a-gon a name you would Bolt-a-gon. think. Black Gone Boltagon. That's his full name. Neither literally. of us. Marvel literally. guys. Literally his name. I'm right. No, I'm not saying that yeah. you're not right. Black Agar Boltagon, actually. So I actually was right in doubting you. Even I though was I was so enough right. I love how defensive you are. Just yeah, out the gate, doubling down. You just is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, I like that for you. So yeah, Borto looks really good. Uh, we're back in the canon episodes. Thank God. Uh, you can't really shit on the animation because like it doesn't look bad. It looks as good as like MHA looks right now because right. MHA doesn't look incredible yeah. currently. Um, so it's like kind of a toss up. I mean, it's a weekly anime. It looks as good as I'm gonna ever anticipate a weekly anime to look. Right. Uh, and I'm happy about it. We're gonna get the time skip probably by the by summer, I think, is when we're gonna get to it. I think it's gonna be 20, 22 ish episodes. So probably like mid summer. Is it gonna be 20 episodes of canon? Yeah. Like there's enough buffer now? That's like I would say because we're probably in chapter 55 56 mm-hmm. right now and it's all the way up to 79 78 gotcha. so we have like 20 or so chapters to go through here and they're 40 page chapters so getting a 40 page chapter done in one episode is like pretty fair I would right say. right so i'd say yeah probably like midsummer we're gonna get the time skip for boruto which is crazy i'm stoked on it boruto looks good it's a good time to be a naruto fan if you forgot about boruto go watch it because yes the it, it's seasonally back for the first time in a year and a half after that, I have another thing. Okay. Uh, I forgot that Tokyo Revengers existed. Yeah, it's back. Yeah. Yeah. But like, it's That's not, cool. but it's not on Crunchyroll. Where is it? Hulu. Hulu. And only, Boo. only like Hulu. Bulu. That's what I've been saying. Yeah. So the thing is, I forget I'm watching a lot of shows because I'm watching so many. And the only way I remember what shows I'm watching is because Hulu's like, get the next episode. Yeah. Like, it's just like, oh, Buddy Daddies. There it is. Like episode nine is right. out, which by the way, Dropping an eight and a half on us? Bullshit. Oh, you're not even caught up. What are you talking about? They did a about? recap episode this week for oh, Buddy Daddies. Boo. And I was like, don't ever, don't give me that. I if you're not know. ready to get your anime out for 12 episodes, why are we starting? What are we doing putting a recap episode eight, eight episodes, episodes in. in into a seasonal anime? You think I've forgotten? <laughs> yeah. I watched it a month ago. I know. You, you think I can't just dive in into the middle of Buddy Daddies either? Yeah. It's a buddy daddies. It's not. I get the premise. Not like, a complicated premise yeah. at all. Like one of them is sad. Both of them are sad. Yeah. And the kid is happy, but also sad backstory. Yeah, exactly. Easy as that. It's Super nice. Easy. So yeah, that got recounted. But like, so that's how I keep up with all my anime. Is like I just have this list of continue watchings on Crunchyroll. And I just never, ha- I never go to Hulu unless I'm going to watch Love Island with, with Dorothy. So I'm every time I go to like scroll down to Love Island, I'm like, holy shit, I'm still on episode four of Tokyo Avengers. Yeah, I hate Hulu, especially for like doing reaction content. Yeah. Just a mess of a streaming service. Yeah, it's just all over yeah. the place. More like who who's watching. More like more like who's watching you. More like who's losing their fan base. Don't who? ever try to do what I do. I I feel like that, that was the scariest <laughs> fucking thing. That was the scariest thing you've ever done. What? Wow, that was hot. Holy shit. I liked that. I can turn it I like, on. I like, I like when you're stirred. Yeah, thanks. That was crazy. <laughs> Good for you. All right, should we get to my news? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, first we have to do best boy, actually. Well, my best boy is going to be my news. You want to do news first? So your best boy and your flashback episode are the same thing? They're connected. Okay. Let's do news first. Okay. Oh, yeah. My news, Naruto is coming back. What yeah. do you the mean? The Naruto anime is coming back. What do you mean? Like, the Naruto anime is coming back. Like, they're making more Naruto anime. They can't even make enough Boruto. What are you talking about? So, what does it take? It give, yeah, give me all the fucking I details. will give you all of the context. Yeah. So, the Naruto anime, the yeah. OG one, right. came out uh, in 2002. Right. So, we've been doing 20-year like celebrations, like 20-year anniversary right. celebrations for the last year and a half. It's weird, though, because we're now in 2023. 
it's 21 years. We're right. beyond it. It, it. So, like, when we got... Did you see the reanimation? Yes. So that that was the 20th anniversary thing that Studio Perry out did. Right. And they were like, look, if we did Naruto today, this is what it would look like. Cool. Now, we just got news, like, today from the Naruto Borto website that come September, we're getting four new episodes of Naruto. Okay. From, like... The Nar like the Naruto the end time. of Shippuden? No, not the blank period. Not even like from a light novel. Okay. We're getting four anime canon episodes from the days of OG Naruto, from like before the time skip. Why? Yeah. So <laughs> great question. So currently, my theory is like we've been building up towards extra Naruto content for a long time, and I actually literally just filmed a YouTube video about this that a lot of you have probably seen. Um, but we've been building up towards this for a long time. And we did the Sasuke Retsudan manga, the Steam Ninja Scroll manga. We then turned Sasuke Retsudan into an anime. So they're playing with the idea of throwing out additional Naruto content instead of Boruto. Okay. So, and with them going backwards for four episodes, mind you, my hypothesis about the anime and the manga hitting the time skip in early summer, this is also to like patch us through right. with Naruto content. Because this is September. So this would be like two or three months into Boruto being over. Right. But what, how, what makes it canon? Well, if, like, it's not, it wouldn't be, it's not based off the manga. Right. Is that, right. like, that's why I'm, so I'm like, I don't want to call it filler. Right. Because it's not filling in anything. It technically is. I guess it's yeah. filling in Boruto, not running. Yeah, yeah. So we're getting four 2023 animation stories from Naruto before the time skip. But we don't know if it's centered around Naruto. So strange. So it could be centered around anything in the Naruto universe pre time skip. Right. So that's like, I'm thinking it's going to be them building up towards the sequel that's coming after Boruto. Right. Which would be. Oh, so do you think it. What is this? Minato. Right. So do you think it'll be like, it'll be Minato, but he's dead. Well, so the thing that people are hypothesizing that after Boruto, we're getting Minato the previous generations, right. which is Minato's story. Right. Because we know nothing about him. And he just maybe allegedly won Naruto Top 99. Right. Um, and that's why they're doing Naruto Top, like a worldwide popularity test. Why would you do that? Oh, to find the next person to write a continuation of Naruto's story. Off. Right. So then based on the fact, like based on how well these four episodes do, they're gauging how willing the Naruto community is to A, come back. Yeah. And B, watch content from the past. That's so... I don't know. I feel like their whole management team needs to be fired. <laughs> Why? That's so strange. I think it's kind of genius, Loki. That's not the way because they are filler episodes. Yeah, yeah. Like so they're not based off the manga, so in that capacity, they here, are filler episodes. Here's yes. what I'll equate it to, yeah. right? So the fighting game community or gotcha. the fighting game scene right now is about to hit like kind of a boom because we got a new Tekken coming out, yes. a new Street Fighter coming out, and a new Mortal Kombat coming out. And? And? There's also another fighting oh. game coming out. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Well, and, see, and, I was trying to give you a segue. Yeah. yeah. But so, so right now it's about to be pretty good. Yeah. But the last few years, it's been okay because it's just been a lot of like DLC for games already out. Mm. Haven't been a lot of new iterations. And what Capcom and other companies will do is they'll be like, okay, let's see if there's some uh, interest in Killer Instinct or Darkstalkers, these other more obscure fighting games. Like, I've never even heard of those. Exactly. Killer Instinct, best fighting game ever. Um, wow. Genuinely. I love but that for you. Hasn't been one in like almost actually a decade, actually. Um, and it's still the best to this day? Best ever to ever come out. The 2013 Killer Instinct game, best fighting game to ever come There's out. There's your obscure reference. Yeah. That's yeah. it right there. That's my cultured reference. So right that's there. that's bingo. That's so, another one of your bingo squares. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, but so here's what fi the fighting game industry will do. They will be like, all right, let's see if there's interest in these older uh series, these older IPs. And what they'll do is they'll release like collections, like, mm. you know, the old like three dark stalkers games in one bundle yeah. from like the early 2000s the master chief collection yeah exactly yeah. and they'll release that like no graphic updates other than like the resolution they're or just like yeah they're all in the same card yeah like it, that's it's, you get you get what you ask for. It, yeah it's like re-uploading an old tiktok mm -hmm. and they do that and they'll be like all right now let's see if there's interest in dark stalkers yeah terrible idea 
no one's going to be excited to rebuy the same thing. You're like, oh my God, the thing I have, but smushed together? No way. Yeah, so you like old fans don't care. New, like potential new fans don't care. Because it's a 10 year old game at yeah, the earliest. Because it's a 10 year old pixelated ass game. Yeah. And I feel like it's the same thing with this, where it's like they already can't keep up with Boruto. Yeah. People want to like Boruto, but they're too fast. They're going too fast, so they mm. don't have enough Boruto content. So it seems crazy to me to be like, we're going to think about, like, not only are we not, like, finished with Boruto, mm. but now we're going to think about what we're going to do after Boruto. Yeah. And to judge... It's early. And to judge if people want, like, more Naruto stuff, if they're excited. We're going to put out four random filler episodes from a done timeline. Yeah. Like, what? I think, if anything, though, it's to give Kishimoto, like, space to breathe. Because yeah. filler episodes, I guess he has really nothing to deal with. Like, it, he doesn't have to make that story. It's not going to be yeah. a short manga Kishimoto has to create. Because on top of Boruto and the fact that Kishimoto is currently still making Sasuke Retsudan into a manga. Right. Uh, and Steam Ninja Scrolls. He is also, after Naruto 99, like, poll is counted. Which is so stupid. Because, like, right. it's an online Online popularity contest. Yeah. You click a box to tell like them what character you like. The second polling stopped, yeah. they knew who yeah. won. Yeah. Like immediately. True. It's, it's on a computer. True. It's, they know. Yeah. They're like, not ripping through yeah, envelopes like, being like, all right, we got to get these votes in. Yeah. They're not counting. They yeah. knew. It's a poll. And so the, the counting phase, I think, is Kishimoto either giving himself time to finish off all of like the current like manga he's creating right. or like to just hammer out the what will be allegedly Minato manga. I just think I get why they're doing this, but if you want to give him time and build up hype, just give him time. Just yeah. like retire the franchise for a bit, like make games come out or something. Because here's the thing. Here's why Boruto isn't popular it, like, it's because of the filler. Like, yeah. Boruto's big in the grand scheme of anime, I suppose. Yeah. But, like, you have your diehard Naruto fans who are going to watch it regardless of quality. Bingo. You. Me. You've got your diehard Naruto fans. But Naruto was so popular because you had, like, I knew tons of people in high school who, when Naruto came out on Adult Swim, mm -hmm. like, years later, like, there was a big hiatus. And then all of a sudden, in, like, high school... Naruto came out in on Adult Swim. Do you remember Shibuden? that? No, like regular Naruto. So Toonami came back. That did not happen in high school. My high school. No, We're Toonami. like two years apart. Yeah, Toonami. Toonami happened when I was 10 years old. No, I, I know. And then, and then it stopped oh, for, I don't, for years. Don't remember that. It stopped for years. Then it came back on Adult Swim gotcha. a few years ago. And then Naruto came back. And... Tons of people from my high school were like, yo, that's hype. I'm going to start watching Naruto again. Like, it's back. If you just, like, let it rest and then say it's back, mm -hmm. your average, like, not weeb fan will be excited about it. But yeah. if you have it going on forever and people are like, you should watch Boruto. It's good again. They're going to be like, oh, but I got to wade through a ton of muck and shit. Yeah. It's like having it on life support is hurting it more than having it just come back. Put it down. Yeah, put and it down. And resuscitate in a couple months. Put it down, get a new dog. But I think that's exactly what's happening is because we're now going to get the time skip as I'm hypothesizing early summer. And then there's probably going to be two years, no Boruto. So that's what it needs. Yeah. But, yeah. but there's this filler shit like, yeah, which will happen probably three to four months after it's over. Yeah. So it'll be like kind of a like, Hey, you miss us? Like kind yeah. of like, Oh, I guess so, you're yeah. thinking about us? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kind of thing. So it'll be yeah. like you up. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. literally like it is a company's you up yeah. text. I guess so. Interesting. Right. Do you want to do your news? My news. Talking is, about fighting games. Yeah, my news is uh, Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 4 is The fact that you just, top of the head, just got that is impressive. Here's the thing. Be Dragon Ball Budokai. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Got it. Here's the thing. You, you know what? I almost don't think your news is bigger. I think you highly underestimate how want to key huge, everybody into our, our previous how conversation. huge this news is. This so is before, based off an off-camera conversation. Before making we sure started. Everyone knows what we're talking about. Before we started this, I was like, you know what our title should be? It should be 
Budokai Tenkaichi is back or something like that for this mm. episode. And Nick was like, no, I got the title. Mine's bigger. Naruto is coming back. Not Massive. bigger. Not Massive bigger. title. It's just, fu- it's four filler episodes. They don't have to know that, baby. <laughs> they don't have to know. They click. I, they listen, click. They see our faces. Look, they're like, they're funny. We stay. Look, we'll do it. We'll see. But I really think the fact that Naruto has refused to not be back has tainted that. I think the fact Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3, uh-huh. the biggest Dragon Ball game that has ever existed, except maybe Fighter Z. Though yeah. I'd argue Budokai Tenkaichi 3 bigger than Fighter Z. Can we make a can we make a bet? Okay. Okay, I'm releasing a video about Naruto coming back on Saturday. Okay. This episode comes out on Sunday. Okay. My video on Saturday, one out of tens. Okay. Naruto's coming back as the title. Anything less than my video one out of tening. Mm-hmm. We'll do Budokai Tenkaichi. Okay. Deal? Fine, deal. Okay. Deal. Which is going to be really funny because, like, then you guys, like, we'll see. Like, if yeah. you watch both, you'll know how that video is doing for Nick. Yeah. Um. So, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 was so huge because it was just the fucking Dragon Ball fantasy. Like, you could fly. It was a 3D arena fighter. Okay. And you could fly around. You had flying buttons. You could fly around, destroy buildings, Fight your friends. It was so good. But on top of that, it was like, right, Broly just inherently harder to beat than like Kid oh, it's Gohan. Like super like it's unbalanced. Like unbalanced. <laughs> yeah. But in a way that like it's unbalanced, but it's a team fighter. So like if you bring Broly, I'll bring Kid Boo because Kid Boo is fast enough to break Broly's armor. That's sick. So like you can counter pick, yeah. which kind of like balances it a little i think i saw a clip where it was like yamcha against freezer yeah um freezer no cooler that's what i combined cooler and freezer oh freeza wild uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on. so it's not my fault they named all of the purple aliens after refrigerating yeah. products <laughs> yeah. uh and it was like cooler is using like his like mega key blast and yamcha's like i'll use my key blast yeah. and it's just like you just you see half of the earth explode and yeah. just gets deleted. Yeah. yeah. I, it, like it's so unbalanced, but balanced to Dragon Ball, so you don't even care. Yeah. Like it's so fun, and there's like a hundred and fifty characters. So it's like So uh, every Dragon Ball character ever. It's like every Dragon Ball character of the time. It came out yeah. in like 2008. Um It's been that long since the third one? It's been 16 years. Oh my god. That's what I'm saying. This is huge news. So <laughs> it's been <laughs> Naruto's anime ended in 2017. It's been six years since we but had Naruto anime. But it refuses anime. to die. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but None of the big three, refu- all of them refuse to die. They're all just gripping on. Absolutely. But, but what was also great is that you could, if you had a team of like, you know, Goku, first off, you could have a full team of Goku. Just like the different iterations. Yeah, yeah, which is hype. You could have all Gokus versus all Vegetas. And that is like a fun matchup. You could have all Gohans if there's enough. Gotcha. So that was sick. But also, if I had like Goku, Vegeta, Goten, and Trunks on my team, Mm -hmm. you could fuse mid-fight. So then, instead of having four people, I have three. Um, But... They're double as strong. Yeah, but they're double as strong. The health, you like gain double health. That's so wild. It's so sick. For 2008, that's crazy. And they spoke to each other. Like in the beginning... If you'd come in and like Goten would talk to Goku, Goku. Yeah. Like he'd have like unique dialogue. It was kind of like Injustice. Yeah, like Injustice, like years before. What's the Dragon Ball game that everyone loves right now? Um, it's not Fighter Z, oh, but it's Xenoverse? also Xenoverse. Xenoverse, yeah. Xenoverse, people have called like a pseudo Dragon Ball Tenkaichi. Yeah. But if you play it, it's like not equivalent. Like it's not enough. Gotcha. Because, because it's it's balanced. Because it's balanced, yeah. and there's not a lot of like, there's not as much attention to detail mm-hmm. as Budokai Tenkaichi did. Here are the words. So there was a teaser for four, mm-hmm. right? Looks gorgeous. Looks stunning. Really, I I I haven't seen it. I it, saw people talking about it, and I just didn't even look. It's like nothing. It's like ten seconds. Gotcha. Looks stunning. The thing, the things I mentioned about Budokai Tenkaichi three, where it's a huge roster mm-hmm. and not balanced yeah are the things that make it so fun like you need the freedom of like i need a team of gokus that i can fuse together whenever i want yeah you need that 
for it to be Budokai Tenkaichi. Planning against what your other opponent brings in with like your own power is fun. That's so sick. And that like, even if it's unbalanced, that is like meta building. Like the fact that it's that like six people on a team mm-hmm. balances it itself. So it's like a 6v6. It's yeah. like siege. Yeah, it's 6v6, but like you one after another. So like your Goku dies, then a Vegeta comes out. Oh, yeah. so you have to wait for five other people to fight? No, it's one-on-one. Gotcha. It's a 1v1. Yeah, but you get six people. Okay. Like, you get six characters. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh, so it's not it's you one, and five of your friends no, fighting. it's one player against one player. And then, like, you could, like, if you lose a character early, you can make it back up yeah. with, like, two wins or exactly. something. Exactly, yeah. Sick, and you could also swap out whenever you want. Like, yeah. it's so, so cool and they it's need Pokemon for Dragon Ball. It's literally Pokemon for Dragon Ball. Yeah. It, they need to bring back that level of freedom and chaos. And the thing that they can improve on, like the one addition I want to see is what the Ninja Storm games do great. And that's team attacks, like oh, non-canon yeah, yeah. team ultimate moves. <laughs> when like all of the Akatsuki comes together, all of the seven swordsmen of the mist come together. Yeah. It's sick. Just like crazy, insane jutsu combinations yeah. that aren't canon. The thing is like, I feel like anime games really cut their teeth on how good their like team attacks or ultimates are. Yeah. Like that's all anybody ever talks about when you're talking about jump force or any of the storm games. It's like, oh, like if you use Itachi and Shisui together, you get like yeah. this crazy team attack or something. Yeah. Yeah. No, or for like sure. all of team seven, like a bunch of other really cool ones. Yeah. I mean, cause like I said, the fantasy is like building a team of Goku's or like building Goku's bloodline. Mm-hmm. It'd be sick if you're rewarded for that. Yeah. Do like a family Kamehameha yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Cause like if you use like Boruto and Naruto together, you get like a family Ross Sangar. Yeah. You like need that. something. Yeah. yeah. That I actually, that sounds like fun. Are you going to stream it? Are you going to stream it? I certainly will be. Okay. I'm going to be streaming it. Well, I want to get, depending on, you can do tournaments actually. So depending on nothing, there's tournaments. Okay. So I want to get you. I want to get Jose. I reached out to Globku recently. Who and he like, didn't email you back. He emailed me back. God. You replied, what's wrong? <laughs> I've emailed him like three times being like, hey, we back when I played, I played like Storm and I played uh-huh. Shinobi Strikers every day, like games he talks about all the time. I was like, ha ha ha, we should play together. Never anything. Radio silence. Happy for you. <laughs> Super happy You're for not. you. I, <laughs> You're not. Big smile. You're furious for me. No. <laughs> me? No. Stop it. Continue. You're streaming um, a tournament? So I do want to stream it. Yeah, I reached out to Globku. But my my reach out was so like I had nothing to offer. I was like I was like, hey, I also like love all these Cyber Connect games. I know you do tournaments. Is there a way I can apply to that or something? And he was like, oh, I don't do the tournaments, but I'm open to like anything you want to do. So I gotta reach out back to him and be like, Budokai Tenkaichi Four is coming out, baby. Like we gotta we gotta get the crew together. We're getting the family back together. Yeah, we're getting the gang together, man. I am gonna be the most first round entry of all time. Exit. <laughs> Like I'm gonna I'm gonna get my ass kicked by some like mod of You're Globku. The warm up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm going in with a team of six Yamchas. I'm so hyped. We should also if here's the thing about these games. Uh huh. Because we should also do it with the Ninja Storm collections. If you ever want to get back into into streaming, I know you don't want to. Oh my god. And I know that like because I don't Vietnam want War. to either. I I just yeah yeah no of course I mean sure why not yeah the Storm games are. Here's great. the thing, they if. Budokai Tenkaichi 4 mm-hmm. is go- could be like the biggest anime arena fighter ever based on the hype alone. I'm so afraid for you. If. I'm so afraid for you. Why? Because this is just like, I just like, I've seen so many people go through this like, oh my God, Jump Force, we're getting JoJo's and My Hero Academia and Hunter Hunter. <laughs> and then it's just like, oh, it's terrible. It sucks. Yeah. It could be huge. It j- All these games could be huge. Yeah. If the online worked. That's the thing. Bold of you to assume they'll have servers. It won't. Yeah. Like, it just never works. Like, the Demon Slayer game could have banged it, bad online. The best, the Hinokami Chronicles is the best anime fighting game of all time, mechanically. Yeah. The worst servers in a game ever. Yeah. Terrible. I tried yeah. recently. I was like, I moved. Maybe it was my connection. Nope. Literally a minute of in or a second of input delay. Yeah. You press X, guy doesn't jump for a whole second. Yep, and you just there's just unbelievable. And like the best you can get is like a yellow ping out of somebody. Yeah. Like you get red and it, it takes you 25 minutes to complete one round. Yeah. If so, that's yeah. If Budokai four or Budokai Tenkaichi four has good net code, I'm gonna be like all over that shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah. who's making it? CyberConnect. 
Uh, no, so that's the good thing. It's Bantai Namco, as always. Um, and Fighter Z got rollback netcode, which is good. It got good servers. Wow. Basically. Huh. Eventually. But that's also because Arc Systems was the ones who like developed it, and mm. they're like a real ass fighting game company. Yeah. Uh, so they could have pushed for it. So hopefully we get rollback for it. If Bandai's making it, we could probably, beg. We could probably get it early. I'm just, just saying. Dude. I will be harassing. We have whoever we have I need existing to harass. Existing connections with yeah. Bandai Namco. <laughs> they're the ones who, who sent us all of these. True. So, uh, yeah, I can, I can see what we can do with that. We get the first tournament of. I would Bankai to... Tanichi. Bankai Tanichi. I completely forget what it's called already. There goes our sponsorship deal. <laughs> I'm sure they're they're not yeah. watching. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'd beta test the shit out of that. Oh, you're gonna be a beater? I I'd beta. You gonna you gonna, you gonna be a beta, beta tester up. and a cheater? Cheater? Yeah. What are you talking about? Have you not seen SAO? No. You haven't seen. You know I haven't. SA well, I do not. I know nothing. Anyway, what's your news? No, 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 oh no, no, no. You know that. Because These are great I, for TikTok clips. You know, you know I haven't seen it. We've been over this. When we have TikTok without me not having seen it. No. We so have I called her Jessica online. Oh, you're right. We already did the Jessica online yeah. thing. The only Not even the first 12 episodes. No. That's I, I saw. I told you I saw one episode on Adult Swim, and it was the guy being like, like trying to protect some people. And it's like, don't do it. If you do, you'll become an orange player. And he's like, I don't care about my player status. Oh, that's Kirito. Yeah. And I'm like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. I did watch it when I was 16, but it holds a serious part of my heart. Like 90% of my it, heart. It can hold a serious part of your heart. It doesn't hold up though. It's... Zing. Oh, <laughs> SEO is very good. The it newest drops. season is... It drops. It doesn't hold up. It drops. <laughs> one episode. Yeah. One episode. Bad. I'm gonna sit you down. Harem anime? We're gonna it's not a harem. Harem isekai anime? No it's thanks. Not it's about being trapped in a video game? No thanks. It's less harem-y than most isekai, sir. Less harem-y is still a harem. He hooks up with Asuna like eight episodes in, and then it's basically just him and Asuna. And then sure, his cousin likes him. Uh, but she doesn't know that they're cousins uh -huh. until she finds out that they're cousins. And then she still kind of likes him. I'm always right. Uh, Just but, think of that when, next time you go into an argument. But then there's also the little Smith girl. And that's, I think that's it. I think that's, it's only three. Even if it wasn't oh, a harem. No, nope, there's another one as well. There's the, Never the little, mind there's the little lolly that he takes to the flower field. Never mind. There's only four. Uh -huh. That's only not that many. Four. That's not that many. Only In four. the grand schemes of Isekai, you know that's not that many. Regardless. That's 50. 50th percentile, I would Regardless. say. Regardless. Split middle of the road. Not, I'm never watching a trapped in a video game anime. Not even. I'm trying to think of the best. Solo it's, leveling? It's probably, solo leveling is not trapped in a is video game. Is it not? Game. No. What it's just a Korean just man a who goes game? into portals. It's a video game, though. Nope. I, I, I guarantee. I guarantee. I've read every I'm single book. I'm pretty sure. I've they, read the first page, and it was like, this is a video game How anime. Are, no! It's not. Wow. It's, there's portals that like they're dungeons that appear around the world. And, like, I assumed those are video games. No. They're just like extra dimensional pockets with Weird. the monsters that need to be eaten, Weird. destroyed, not eaten. I don't know why I said eaten. Interesting. Maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> I well, certainly am. Just wild for you to just come out and be like, that's a video game. What's your I own news? every single one. It's called solo leveling. Yeah, because he gets an ability to level himself up like he's in a video game. But he's not actually in it a video game. It might as well be. It's video game adjacent. Yeah. But he's not in a video game. What's your news, Nicholas? Well, my best boy. Or your best boy, yeah. My best oh, boy. Oh, that's is... right. My best boy is Dragon Ball for the first time ever, and it never will be again until the game releases. Have you even seen Super? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Like all of it? Like, um, yeah, through the tournament arc or the tournament of power. Is that where it ends? Is I it done? Is Super over? Super's done currently. But like it could come back? Yeah. I just never. The plans do. There's manga shit happening. I never. I just didn't care. I hate it. It's not. I hate Super. I never was like, oh, now I need to punch more aliens. Like, I just, it was never the thing yeah. I needed. Uh, my best boy is Deku, but not Deku's animators. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Deku is in his vigilante arc in the anime right now. Don't he, he spoil. I'm not spoiling. I'm just warning. I'm just saying he's in his vigilante arc. He's battling against Lady Nagant, which is a really cool fight. 
Uh, and it's one of Deku's better moments. And Deku's like growing as the like the only inheritor of One for All. Uh, and he's like bearing the weight of All Might and like they have to explore All Might's relationship with Deku currently, which is awesome. And seeing All Might's guilt with like putting the entire weight of the world on Deku's shoulders is really cool. Uh, but Deku is in his Black Air Force energy like era. And it's like right. my, it's my favorite Deku. Yeah. Uh, Deku in the manga right now, also incredible, uh, which is actually my switch. Because I also want to talk about other people from MHA that deserve best boy. Okay. Specifically, Tokoyami and Shinso. I had to look up his name is earlier. Is that the tail guy? Uh, no, Shinso is the guy who has the ability to control people. An animal, whatever. No, that's Annie voice. Oh, no, yeah, he has the, a little... Yeah, and if you yeah. answer like something yeah. he says, he controls you. Right. So, Tokoyami, I'm not going to spoil anything that's happening in the manga, but Tokoyami and Shinso uh, showing up in the biggest way possible right. in the manga right now, the final battle... Uh, and honestly, my best boy is probably just MHA as a whole. Nice. Because the mangaka of MHA, Hori, um, I'm, I'm spacing his name right now. Um, because everybody was on his ass being like, oh, where are all these characters? Where are right. the other, where are the other like schools? Where are all the side characters? And everybody is showing up in the most pivotal way in this final fight against Shigaraki and, uh, all for one. And it is, it's sick to see. We're getting incredible, like closing, like like closing arcs for all of these characters that have been introduced over 300 chapters. Right. And so everybody got on his ass and he's just in his back. Yeah. Oh my God. MHA's manga is so good right now, dude. It's MHA is probably outside of JJK, probably best manga last two weeks, last, last month, two months, I'd say. Nice. Yeah. That's hype. Yeah. Who's your best boy? Dragon Ball. Oh, you already did it. Yeah. Cool. Should we do love letters? Yeah. The scramble begins. The <laughs> scramble begins. You know what's funny is I literally was like, hey, I need to uh, get like a love letter for the podcast. And then you got here and I was cuddling with Neutron watching MHA. So I never got it. And we have none of our love letters. I have one. Okay, go ahead, please. You first. Um, F Secret asks, uh -huh. um, if you could continue or remake an old show, which one and why? If I could continue or remake an old show, which one and why? Gintama. Really? No. Is oh my god, over? wait, no, I'm sorry. Okay. Does Hunter Hunter count? Yeah, or remake. Well, no. You want to remake it again? Continue. Oh, continue. True. If I could continue Hunter yeah. Hunter, uh, I want to I want the manga to be over. I right. just want it to be done at yeah. this point. It's yeah. just like it's like when your family member is in hospice care and you're like, it would be it would be yeah. better for you to just pass. Yeah. To keep going. <laughs> like like I just like so I want I want uh I want now I'm spacing. Hunter Hunter? Yeah, but the Oh, mangaka. I don't know his name. I'm totally spacing his name right now. Whatever. Um, I want the mangaka of Hunter Hunter to finish the story. I want him to send out a light novel. Right. Because, like, his back hurts from drawing. I'm like, don't draw, man. Yeah. Just put the book out. I can't believe there's not a remedy. Like, you can't, like, have the thing up like this. I, 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 like, I can imagine that, like, drawing all day. Like, like, it, like I, I, guess could, so. I could see a tweak no, in your back tough, regardless. No, it's for sure. It sucks. But, like, my thing is, like, his art style isn't... It's not berserk. It's not one punch, man. Yeah. Like, it's not, like, it's not hard. Like, I, I'm not going to say I could oh do boy. it, but like there's people who could for sure do it. What I need is his brain. Yeah, I just know. Write the stuff. I know. Give it to an assistant. Just, just tap. Yeah. Just tap on some keys. I know. I'm not, I'm surprised. I mean, like, I'm not, I would never be like, oh, like it's, you know, his art style. Like you can't just do that. It's like, I get that. Like just shows how debilitating his back pain is. Yeah. But I agree. Like give it to an assistant or something like give the art to an assistant and uh, tell somebody, him what happens. He's for sure got understudies. Yeah. For sure. Like just have somebody else draw. You do the bubbles. Just yeah. tell him what to draw. Be like, oh, hey, draw Gone in a little town uh, and put a bubble right there. And he'd be like, all right, cool. They'll come back to you. You have, draw the bubbles in. Have you ever seen Oda's like drawings, like his storyboards no. that he gives to his assistants? It's a fucking mess. Really? He does like literally like as if. Does he Oda not draw One Piece? He has assistants. It's like a I could imagine. weekly or monthly manga. One Piece is weekly. Yeah. I think it's been weekly for like he, 20 years. He's got, yeah, he's got assistants. Mm -hmm. Like, so he does like the basic outlines of yeah. like what's happening. And I'm sure he like does some also, or maybe he doesn't like. There's no shame in not. That being said, Oda tells everybody who comes to work on One Piece, get ready to die for One Piece. Yeah. So, like, so, he's in, an insane person. Yeah, but it's like, um, his, he, as if he never picks the pen off of the paper. Yeah. It's just a big scribbly mess that oh. vaguely looks like the thing. And he's like, fill and, this in. Yeah, and, gotcha. then he, and then he gives it to his guy, and he's like, that's what I want. And That's then they do so it. funny. But it's like, fucking, 
yeah, you just need the brain. Like, artists, it's, like, ridiculous to be, like, only Miro, yeah, I think, Kentaro Miro, who did Berserk. It's, yes. like, only he could draw Berserk. Like, no, like, thousands of artists could, could draw Berserk. Mura, but very Mura, close. Yeah, like, thousands of people can draw it. You just need him to Telling direct. You need him to direct, yeah. Yeah. I just need like where you would build this story to yeah, because exactly. like I want to hear it coming from your brain, but I don't need your hand drawing the artwork. Yeah. Like it's, it's one punch man. One of my favorite mangas of all time, not drawn yeah. by the dude telling the story. No, exactly. And I, sure. I don't understand why that's not a more prevalent thing. Like obviously it could one, be like a pride thing in Japan. Maybe I guess. Like, yeah. They're like, I want to be the one, like I want my art style to be imparted. I here. mean, there's a pride thing in like the fandom. Like I, like that example I gave, like I've heard that before where people are like, Cause Mura died, unfortunately. Yes. And the, his assistant is now like using like the outline of Berserk and leading the team now. Yeah. And people are like, no one but Mura could do it. And it's like, he these studied people, under him since the eighties. Yeah. Like these people have all been working on Berserk as much as he has. And yeah. I get that. Like, like it's not like they're just like, all right, I'm going to make up the rest. Like they have the notes, but it's like, there is in the eyes of the community, there's this pride where it's like, you know, it's he's the ma- he is Hunter Hunter, and yeah. it's like the people work on it. You know, like, yeah. and it's the same thing with like outside of anime though, because yeah. the first oh, six sure. Dune books are written by whatever his yeah. name is, and then his son started writing a bunch of yeah. the ones after, and everyone was like, they're not canon. Like, I just gotta read them. Well, they're bad, but yeah, they're not yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, but like, still, no, yeah. like, it's. I think movies are like a good example where it's like everyone's like, yeah, like the director, like made this movie perfect and it's like yeah but like there's also like a hundred other people who work on the movie that helping like, like the writers yeah. and you know the gaffers yeah, sure. uh the best boys yeah, like you yeah the gaffers the, the best the boys grips. in the world yeah um yeah that's me best hunter, boy hunter. personally but yeah so i i think hunter hunter end of the day i just want you it want over it to finish i want it over and then i want somebody else to draw it like a fan like fans draw one like animate one punch yeah. man because it's taking so long for it to get animated yeah. and the fan animations are incredible you throw that story out to the ether with how feral the hunter hunter community is it'll get drawn i give it two months yeah maybe three yeah. Like, they'll split it amongst, like, individual fans, and they'll be like, can you draw the first 10 chapters and have it done in a week? I swear to God, you crowdsource the animation. It'll be over by the time it gets warm. Would you... Is there one that you would remake? Like, like I didn't like how it came out. And we're... Oh, yeah. Not even... Easy. Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul? Immediate. Good call. Immediate. Good call. Yeah. yeah fair. Like, Tokyo Ghoul's manga, peak. Yeah, The first wow. two seasons of Tokyo Ghoul really good and then they started deviating from the manga and then deviated the ending of season two from the manga only to go directly back to the manga for tokyo go re which made no sense yeah. so everyone was confused nobody knew what was going on so like re is awful tokyo ghoul had such a good thing it was uh, tokyo ghoul could so have manga been still happening no i think it's over oh okay. yeah it, tokyo ghoul could have been I don't know. I, I don't know what I would like compare Tokyo Ghoul to because it only would have been like 50 or so episodes, right? Yeah. Um, it probably so like a Demon Slayer, maybe. Yeah, like Tokyo Ghoul, could, it was. It was the early 2000s Demon Slayer. Yeah. It was what everybody talked about. It got other people into anime yeah. in that time period and then they fucked it up. Yeah. So yeah, Tokyo Ghoul. That's interesting. Mm. I would do, if I were to continue one, it would be, oh wait, I had to continue. Oh, Avatar. I know it's not an anime, but it says show. You're getting your wish. I'm getting my wish. It's hype. They're I'm literally hyped making for, an Aang movie. I'm hyped for this Is that what they're getting three movies of? No. Okay. There's a Zuko movie, which okay. people assume is him looking for his mother based off the graphic novels. There's nice. an adult team Avatar movie. Yeah, yeah, Where yeah, they're yeah. all adults, which is going to be hype. Because they're all going to be so strong. They're, that's going to be so sick. There's a Kyoshi movie. Which, Incredible. The book bangs like one of my favorite All books ever. Three books are really good. There's two books two and books. then a Yang Chen book. Yeah. And then the fourth movie is a Korra movie. Interesting. So that's going to last us the next four years. And then the fifth piece is there's going to be a show, which is nuts. Hopefully is all the these things are good. Dudes? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully all these things are good. Yeah. Who knows? We I have can't no imagine content. adult av- like team avatar is going to be anything but yeah. incredible. Yeah. Like it's going to be fantastic. It's I'm super hyped. The reason, the only reason really that Korra is not as good as it could have been. Mm-hmm. It's because Nickelodeon kept fucking them over and being like, they were like, Oh, will you get another season? Yeah. <laughs> yeah they were, <laughs> Who knows? They were like, give us a one season series. So they yeah. wrapped up 
everything they needed to in one season. And they're like, mm, what about another? That I mean, made a lot of money. Yeah. Let's let's run it back. So then they got another, and then Nickelodeon was like, mm, two more, please. <laughs> like, like, shut up. Bring me that sweet, sweet Avatar money, please. Yeah. And that's why season one of Korra is like a masterpiece, in my opinion. Wow. It's really good. This I mean, is your visual your visual novel of telling us why season one of Korra is better than yeah. all of the previous this four my, seasons of Avatar. Yeah, my duplicitous way of doing that. Three Avatars? Was it three seasons of Avatar? Uh, yeah. Yes, three, three books. books. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, But anyway, that's the one I would continue. I'm okay. getting my wish. I have some controversial Must remakes. Nice. Yeah. I yeah. mean, Hunter Hunter got continued in the beginning of like the like late 2022. Yeah. I was in, I was in Turkey. That must have been exciting for uh, a bit. It was like the best yeah. 12 weeks of my <laughs> yeah. fucking life. Yeah. It, like, like he made 12, I think he made like 10 or 12 chapters and they came out every week and I was just reading Hunter Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> and I, like the thing is, I never read Hunter Hunter until I finished the anime. Yeah. I was never weekly with Hunter Hunter. I was weekly with yeah. Hunter Hunter. I was fucking, That's how I, I was living. Yeah. It was awesome. And not taken away from you. Gone now. Yeah. Probably never coming back. Who knows? <laughs> um, My remake picks Maybe controversial. One oh. is definitely controversial. Yeah. Less controversial one, Naruto. OG Naruto. No, I feel that. Pump that out seasonally, like condense the shit out episodes. of it. It's 80 episodes, basically. 80 episodes, but not even like... No. Like, even, yeah, like even condense the like pacing of the canon episodes. You want one pace for Naruto. Yeah. Yeah. I want like, I want like Demon Slayer's pace for Naruto. Yeah. Where it's just like, just brisk and all action mm -hmm. not like all violence i mean but like mm -hmm. all just yeah all the important shit none it'd of the nuts. filler it'd be incredible i think that'd be great better animation like not just jpegs with like orochimaru's tongue wiggling on top there's of it there's so many good like you never pause og naruto because yeah. they're just like you see a background character and they're just like it's the a blob work, it's like, the worst drawing you've ever seen i love it's like a six-year-old drew a star yeah like well i think honestly them going back and like having four episodes might be like a little, yeah. a little tester to be like, I, what if? Yeah, I would love a remake of Naruto. I would love Naruto with any amount of shading. Yeah. Shippuden has no shading. No. Which is insane. But like. Shippuden, going back to parts of it, I'm like, damn, that looks really good. And other parts, I'm like, ooh. I know. It's no. very, it's very that. Yeah. So Naruto, I would love a remake. Like a nice crisp remake. I would also, I get that like, we don't need this now. I would love the same treatment for Attack on Titan. Give you want Attack on Titan to be. Fix, condensed fix that pacing yeah like at least and maybe season four get wit to just like redo all that if wit just like sacked up one day and they're just like yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna yeah. step on over mappa here and yeah. make sure that like we're the ones doing the most action-packed season but would have been nice but i also don't know i mean maybe that's just like overly bitter because i've never read the manga so as far as i know the pacing is a manga thing too because season two of attack on titan like nothing happens. Oh no, pacing's definitely an anime thing. I pacing's so, fine then. in the manga. Well then, yeah. So then, yeah. Also, pacing in manga is funny to me because it's just like just read faster, you know? Yeah, just, I just fucking just, yeah. just read faster. It's just like um, Attack on Titan is just like season one was so cool and I think is like so great, mm -hmm. and then season two happens and nothing happens in it. Then season three is great, but it's also really convoluted and like the beginning of the complicated shit. Yeah. Um, but God, yeah. they should just end it at the beach. Should just end it. They're like, what? Yeah. Yeah, it's then, like we did it. Credits. Done. Bingo, bango, bongo. It's all you need. But yeah, Naruto's like definitely my big like. Just remake that and make it shorter. Yeah, I mean, because literally episode one thirty to two hundred nineteen are all filler. It, yeah, it's just unnecessary. They just caught up. Yeah. And that's it. That's uh, Taku's Anonymous. We're only going to do one love letter. Uh, not totally because we only have one lo love letter, uh, but also long because episode. we, we kind of split that one into two and it yeah. is a long episode. So thank you guys for checking in with us this week. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, depending on whether or not this is called Bandai Kendotichi 4 is coming back or Naruto is coming back. Uh, we're happy to see. We're excited to see what really what rolls out here title wise. <laughs> if we base it off the Dragon Ball game, Nick mm -hmm. will not be doing the spelling. Benkai. No. Bankai. No. Ben. No. Kyo. It, it, I, I'm saying no when you start to get it wrong and it keeps getting closer and closer to the ben, letter B. Ben. Ki. No. No. Not Yo Ben. Boku. No. 
Boo. Boo. Ka. Budokai. Budokai. Tenkaichi 4. I Boo. nailed it. First try. Yeah. So I've been Enzy Hammer 23, also known as Nick. Uh, please, guys, if you want to watch us live, we were supposed to do a live stream today, uh, but we found out if you try to go live on YouTube for the first time, they're like, hey, that's cool that you tried. Uh, wait 24 hours, yeah, and then we'll mess. allow you to do it. So I guess kind of makes sense it's like buying a gun they make you wait 24 hours yeah what are they doing a background check on us like I, I, maybe they should if we're being entirely real so next week we're gonna have live streams for all of you to watch how hard it is for me and danny to make this podcast an actual thing i know it looks polished but it's absolutely not is that how it looks uh polished yeah absolutely we look fantastic uh so yeah go ahead and hit that subscriber button me and danny are actually gonna make a little video to get people in there and yeah daniel I am Danny Mata, also known as Danny Mata, um, on mm. my YouTube and such. And yeah, you, I hate when you give it to me because, yeah. <laughs> which is also a sentence I don't ever want taken out of context. Did you see the animation of the, when we went to the Gashapon and the guy, the doodle, oh, doodle did. he did, did that. He was like, yeah. spit on it. Really funny um, out of context. Oh yeah. Really funny out of context. Um, I hate when you, when you toss me the outro, cause you cover all the ground and then you're like, now you do that. You can just say I'm Daniel. And I'm like, I'm Danny. Bye. That works. Okay. He's Daniel. I'm bye. Daniel, bye. Mwah.